Chapter 1741 An Insignificant Skill Translator Born to be Long Chen furiously let out a powerful punch. Xiang Yunfei blocked with his full power, but both his arms were broken. He coughed up blood and flew back. However, just as he was flying back, Long Chen's foot landed heavily on his chest, causing it to cave in. Do the ancient races only know how to insult others? Novaloon.com Long Chen repeatedly attacked. Xiang Yunfei became a punching bag, repeatedly coughing up blood and retreating. How is this possible? Xiang Yunfei doesn't even have the ability to retaliate. Everyone was shocked. Xiang Yunfei looked miserable as he repeatedly coughed up blood. No, this is an ancient race expert's eyes suddenly lit up. Long Chen, watch out. He's doing this on purpose. The barbarian mammoth race has a kind of divine ability that can absorb someone in the crowd shouted out a warning. Haha, <laughs> it's too late. Die. Xiang Yunfei, who was being forced back miserably, suddenly smiled. One of his fists struck like lightning. Space seemed to stand still. Heaven and earth became silent, and thin cracks appeared on Xiang Yunfei's fist. Those weren't divine marks but spatial fractures. His power had surpassed what the surrounding space could endure. Most shocking of all, Xiang Yunfei's attack also contained Long Chen's aura. It was fierce and domineering. He actually absorbed Long Chen's attacks, concentrating all their power into one. How would you even handle such a move? The people who saw through the clues were especially stunned. Xiang Yunfei was actually using Long Chen's power to attack Long Chen. How was someone supposed to receive the sum of so many of their own attacks? This move was definitely terrifying. TCH. An insignificant skill. When it comes to using your enemy's power against themselves, the human race is the real founder. Long Chen suddenly smiled as well. Instead of retreating, he directly caught Xiang Yunfei's fist with his hand. A muffled sound rang out. That world-shaking punch of Xiang Yunfei's looked like it had landed on cotton. There was no intense explosion. However, people did see that when Long Chen caught Xiang Yunfei's fist, his divine ring grew ever so slightly. Take some tips. This is how you borrow power from others. Long Chen's slightly bent arm suddenly straightened. His divine ring shrank, and a burst of energy exploded out of his palm like a volcano. Bloody mist filled the sky along with a sound like a star exploding. Xiang Yunfei was blown back half his body blown out of existence. Impossible. Xiang Yunfei roared crazily as he glared at Long Chen. He was unable to believe that Long Chen could actually absorb all the energy he had secretly stolen. Long Chen had then instantly presented it as a gift to him. If he hadn't fled fast enough, this attack would have taken his life. His manifestation activated, rapidly healing his destroyed body. In just half a breath's time, he had fully recovered. This was one of his innate divine abilities. This kind of recovery divine ability was something the ancient races had inherited from the Xuan beasts. This was one of the most terrifying aspects of the Xuan beasts. Their self-recovery abilities were ridiculous. Long Chen didn't pursue him after that attack. He looked at Xiang Yunfei indifferently. I said that humans are the ancestors of tricks. How many tricks could a beast have? Your little tricks just make others laugh at you even more. Just how much battle experience did Long Chen possess? As soon as Xiang Yunfei had faked being at a disadvantage, Long Chen had sensed what he was thinking. The power Long Chen had unleashed came from the Green Dragon battle armor. This power was something only he, someone who possessed the blood of a true dragon, could control. That was why he hadn't been worried about the move at all. When Xiang Yunfei had launched his attack, Long Chen had simply taken back his power and added some more to it. It went without saying that Xiang Yunfei was very powerful. Even though Long Chen had planned this perfectly, Xiang Yunfei had still sensed something off at the last moment and almost instinctively moved his vitals out of the way, saving his life. Although Long Chen was absolutely clear on what had just happened, Xiang Yunfei felt like he was going insane. This was one of his peerless moves and it had never failed before. The only exception was today where using it had almost cost him his life. This is why if you don't want to die, you should bring out your real power. Otherwise, this clone of yours will be forever lost to you, said Long Chen. Suddenly, the sky shook. Although it was the middle of the day, 
Countless stars covered heaven and earth. What is this? It. It seems to be a formation but we didn't sense anything at all before people panicked because this starry formation covered even them. Everyone. Don't worry. The core of this formation is the battlefield. We are just on the edge. When it truly activates, Long Chen will be the main target. We aren't even qualified to be caught in its net, said an Empyrean as he looked at the endless stars. He was completely calm. He clearly had a certain understanding of this formation. In the Huaian sect, Zheng Wenlong calmly looked at the formation. He was lost in thought. Has Long Chen really reached the level where his foes will do anything to eliminate him, even if they have to become enemies with the Martial Heaven Alliance? Right now, Long Chen wasn't just the hope of the Zhuangshan Dao sect he had also become the number one figure amongst the Martial Heaven Alliance's junior generation. He was someone who Jianying regarded the highest, no different from her own disciple. Whoever dared to attack Long Chen would have to face Ku Jianying's temper. No matter what power they were from, Ku Jianying would immediately kill her way to them. The rumors of Long Chen collaborating with an expert from the original Devil Race had caused quite a bit of noise in the past few days, but there was no solid proof. No one had been able to do anything to Long Chen over it. Zheng Wenlong had thought that Long Chen would be safe, but then, unexpectedly, Xiang Yunfei had come out to challenge Long Chen. This was clearly no simple competition between experts, but a trap. Should we alert the headquarters? Whispered the elder behind Zheng Wenlong. Zheng Wenlong shook his head. There is no need. Long Chen is brazen but also scrupulous. He knew this was a trap, yet he still jumped into it. That means he has his own trump cards and isn't afraid of the trap. But that hidden person, it's fine. I understand Long Chen far too well. Don't worry about it. Zheng Wenlong waved his hand dismissively. The flickering stars enveloped the world. Furthermore, the sun was still blazing high in the sky. This sight was bizarre. Wait a moment. I want to personally suppress Long Chen. When those stars appeared, Xiang Yunfei let out a furious roar. The mammoth in his manifestation suddenly let out a cry and began to move. Its trunk pointed toward the sky. His manifestation is moving. That's a sign his manifestation is on the verge of fully awakening. When his manifestation fully awakens, Xiang Yunfei will be a true Empyrean seeing the mammoth in his manifestation roar at the sky. The Empyreans present were all filled with wild jealousy. Only when they fully awakened their manifestations would they be true Empyreans. Born from the heavens, sent to uphold the will of heaven and earth, and standing above all other geniuses. Only such figures were true heavenly geniuses. Currently, 99% of Empyreans on the martial heaven continent only had a simple primal chaos manifestation. Those whose manifestations had started to awaken were as rare as a phoenix feather or unicorn horn. Empyreans with awakened manifestations had a powerful suppressive effect on ordinary Empyreans. If the heavenly deos were like sunlight, then ordinary Empyreans were wheat, while Empyreans with awakened manifestations were trees. The trees blocked the majority of the sunlight, so the ordinary wheat couldn't enjoy the nourishment of the sun. There was no way for them to compete. As for Xiang Yunfei, his manifestation was on the verge of fully awakening. That meant he was just one step from growing into a heaven-soaring tree. As Xiang Yunfei's manifestation shook, his blood chi also soared, his muscles bulged, and his skin became a tough hide that looked like the bark of an old tree. However, it was still possible to vaguely see his blood flowing out of him. Xiang Yunfei is activating the barbarian mammoth spirit possession divine ability. However, since he's just a clone, he only has 80% of his true body's power, so even his clone is unable to bear this power. Xiang Yunfei's entire body was bloody. His eyes were scarlet. He glared at Long Chen like a crazed magical beast. Suddenly Xiang Yunfei's body inflated, which caused many blood tears to spread all over his body. Blood slowly flowed out, but it didn't fall to the ground. It was instead absorbed by his tough hide. Long Chen didn't stop Xiang Yunfei, nor did he react to the starry formation trapping him. His hands were clasped behind his back as he patiently waited for Xiang Yunfei to finish. Suddenly. Xiang Yunfei let out a furious roar. His arms were now thicker than a normal person's waist. The power of his blood chi was exploding out of him. Long Chen, 
Even a clone is more than enough to kill you. Xiang Yanfei's voice was harsh and as ugly as scraping metal. I don't believe you. Long Chen shook his head. He clenched his fist. His divine ring spun, and a five-point star gradually appeared within it. At the same time, his 108,000 stars inside him began to unleash their own power. Boom. Xiang Yanfei and Long Chen's fists collided, and a giant wave of light exploded. Everywhere that light passed, destruction followed. The ground was torn asunder. The experts inside the eastern Xuan city were all horrified. If that light wave struck them, it was unknown just how many of them would survive. Buzz. Before the light even arrived, the Huai insects barrier took the initiative. It expanded, attacking the light wave. As a result, people were horrified to see the barrier explode. Just as they thought that they were doomed, another light barrier shot out. Continuously explosive sounds rang out as a total of 18 barriers were destroyed in order to cancel out the shockwave of their exchange. After the shockwave had passed, everyone finally sighed with relief and wiped off some cold sweat. They all looked gratefully at Jung Wenlong before looking back at the battlefield. What however, when they saw the battlefield, they couldn't help being astounded. Chapter 1742 Replicated Divine Items Translator Born to be Long Chen's figure hadn't moved at all in the sky. He was still standing in his original location. One of his hands was behind his back, while his other fist was blocking Xiang Yanfei's giant fist. Intense astral winds buffeted Long Chen, blowing back his hair and robes. However, he was like a boulder. Xiang Yanfei's power was causing the space around him to wildly twist. Long Chen's position was like the calm eye of the hurricane. The space around him was whirling fiercely. However, as Long Chen's divine ring spun, Xiang Yanfei was unable to push him back. No matter how he tried, he was unable to shake Long Chen. Impossible. Just how strong is Long Chen? He's absolutely heaven-defying. None of the experts present could believe their eyes. Xiang Yanfei's attack just now had shaken heaven and earth. Capable of easily slaying Empyreans. None of the experts present felt that they could block it on their own. They would die no matter what. However, such a terrifying attack was received so easily by Long Chen. Xiang Yanfei's eyes were practically spurting flames, and his face was growing more and more twisted. He was both shocked and infuriated. He hadn't expected Long Chen's power to be so great. Before this, he had just been testing Long Chen. However, now he felt despair. Your clone only has 10% of your true body's bloodline power. Its actual power is less than 80%. There are many divine abilities that you can't unleash. I really don't know where you got so much confidence to try and kill me with such a clone. Your arrogance has no foundation. Whatever. Let's end things here. Long Chen's fist suddenly became a claw that caught Xiang Yanfei's fist. And he sent a kick at Xiang Yanfei's crotch. What? Even in this kind of scenario, he can still easily change attacks. Long Chen's sudden movements caused everyone's jaws to drop. Xiang Yanfei's power was all concentrated in his fist. According to reason, even if Long Chen was acting indifferent, all his power had to be blocking Xiang Yanfei's fist. In other words, if he wanted to attack Xiang Yanfei, he would have to force him back or get out of the way. This sudden kick of Long Chen's made no sense. To be able to attack like this overturned all common sense. Is this to say, Long Chen has still yet to use even 50% of his power? Someone made a brazen guess. Everyone's hearts shook. Perhaps that person's guess was right. The only way Long Chen could attack so freely was if he had so much power left that he could block Xiang Yanfei's attack and still launch his own attack. If that really was the case, just how powerful was Long Chen? Xiang Yanfei hastily blocked with his leg. A muffled bang rang out, but in that instant, he sensed something wrong. Long Chen's kick didn't contain any power. Fuck, it was fake. Xiang Yanfei immediately sensed it, but when he did, it was already too late for him to block. He wanted to dodge, but Long Chen's hand was clamping on his fist. He couldn't dodge, and it was too late to block. Long Chen's left fist smashed into his eye socket. Boom. Xiang Yanfei's skull caved in. However, his head didn't explode, and he didn't die. Xiang Yanfei's head was as hard as a divine item. Xiang Yanfei forcibly tore his hand from Long Chen's grip. 
He was a powerful expert, and by instantly relaxing his arm, he managed to pull it away from Long Chen. However, just as he did, before he could run, Long Chen's other hand grabbed his hair, and Long Chen's hard kneecap slammed toward his nose. A sour sound rang out that made others wince. Xiang Yanfei's nose was smashed in. His head was completely deformed. Long Chen repeatedly smashed his knee into Xiang Yanfei's head. Blood splattered, making everyone else wince. They didn't wince out of sympathy, but out of reflex. They felt like their own noses were being struck. Some people almost teared up. Suddenly, one of the stars in the sky transformed into a sharp sword that slashed at the back of Long Chen's head. This sword was composed of the formation's runes. It came without the slightest warning. By the time people reacted, it had already reached the back of Long Chen's head. Blood splashed. However, the sword didn't strike Long Chen, but Xiang Yunfei. When Long Chen dodged, Xiang Yunfei managed to escape from his grasp. It was just that now there was a bloody hole in his chest. Xiang Yunfei roared. His entire body lit up. His half-crushed head and bloody chest healed in just a moment, and his aura didn't drop at all. What terrifying recovery abilities. Does he possess an undying body? Startled cries rang out from various experts. This kind of recovery speed was completely abnormal. Long Chen. Die. Xiang Yunfei suddenly formed rapid hand seals, and the manifestation behind him split open. 108 long white bone spears appeared. Those 108 bone spears were miles long, like celestial's pillars capable of supporting heaven and earth. Endless divine pressure surged out of them, resonating with the world. Heavens, the pressure of divine items. Are these 108 half-step divine items? No, they aren't true half-step divine items. They should only be classified as quasi-divine items. They're replicas of the heavenly bone spears left behind by one of the barbarian mammoth race's supreme experts. The true half-step divine items must be in Xiang Yunfei's true body's hands. Although the individual power of each replica isn't on the half-step divine item level, when joined together, their total power is definitely much greater than ordinary half-step divine items. These bone spears were created from the teeth of one of the barbarian mammoth race's top experts and they can be activated with the corresponding bloodline to unleash even greater power, said someone. Just as everyone was stunned by the 108 bone spears in the air, Xiang Yunfei sent them shooting at Long Chen. Mammoth God Killing Blow. So you don't want to just use physical strength, but also magical arts? Don't blame me for bullying you, Long Chen sneered. At some point, a long and sinister looking black saber had appeared in his hand. An evil aura came from the saber. It was like a fiend coming from hell. Today, I'll be your doctor and pull out your teeth. Boom. The first bone spear exploded with a single swing. It was like a black starry river had fallen onto the bone spear, turning it into bone fragments that fell to the ground. Long Chen's figure was like a phantom's as he repeatedly slashed Evil Moon. Each slash of his shattered a bone spear. They were practically garbage in front of Evil Moon. What the? Oh, their mammoth bones, and your dragon bone. Long Chen was also surprised by Evil Moon. Today, it was cooperating so nicely. Had the sun risen from the west today, it had taken the initiative to help him out with its own power, or his attacks wouldn't be able to break these bone spears so easily. However, that didn't conform to Evil Moon's character. Long Chen suddenly thought of the crux of the problem. He wants to compete which one of our bones is harder? How's that any different than courting death? Crush this idiot, sneered Evil Moon. It was clearly looking down on the white bone spears. These bone spears had runes carved into them. They were offensive runes, allowing them to pierce through ordinary divine items. However, when they crashed into Evil Moon, they ran into an unfortunate calamity. It was like Xiang Yunfei was throwing eggs at a rock. The results were obvious. How is this possible? Xiang Yunfei let out a heaven shaking roar. These bone spears might just be replicas of another divine item, but their power was still immense. He had used them to slay countless experts. This was also one of the reasons why he dared to use his clone to challenge Long Chen. These bone spears were extremely hard. Their hardness was comparable to half-step divine items. What he didn't know was that it was precisely because his bone spears were so hard that they had provoked Evil Moon. Perhaps if they were a bit weaker, 
they would have been fine. Star shift. 10,000 flying spears Xiang Yanfei had already lost 18 bone spears. His heart was dripping blood. His bone spears stopped shooting at Long Chen and instead merged together into one giant bone spear. His previous attack from all sides had been to make sure Long Chen couldn't run. He would kill with the sudden torrent of attacks from his bone spears. However, that wasn't possible anymore. Now he was switching to a head-on attack again. What? There's this many. Long Chen saw all the runes on the bone spears actually merge into one complete object. This attack was definitely powerful. Seeing the merged bone spear shoot at him, Long Chen actually chose to turn and run. What the fuck are you running for? Kill it. If you run like this, you won't have any time to store up energy. Aren't you going to be cut down from behind like this? Evil Moon roared angrily upon seeing Long Chen run. What do you know? I naturally have my own reason, responded Long Chen as he fled. Xiang Yanfei was delighted to see Long Chen run. If Long Chen had instead used his full power to block, he had no assurance that this attack would be able to kill Long Chen. It would most likely only heavily injure him. However, now that he had run, he had set himself up for death. There was no way he could unleash a big move while running, as he couldn't store up energy while doing so. Running had essentially cut off his only chance at surviving. Keep dreaming. You can't get away, sneered Xiang Yanfei. His giant bone spear shot after Long Chen. Boom. In the end, Long Chen's speed wasn't as great as the bone spears. It slammed into him, unleashing a huge wave of earth. Dust filled the air. Watch out. Suddenly, a startled cry came from the void. At the same time, the stars covering the sky transformed into arrows that shot toward Xiang Yanfei. However, it was too late. A black saber silently appeared behind Xiang Yunfei and ran him through. Chapter 1743 Slash Yu as a test translator. Born to be Evil Moon stabbed straight through Xiang Yunfei's body. People saw Long Chen holding Evil Moon behind Xiang Yunfei. What this sudden turn was too abrupt. Just now, Long Chen had been fleeing and at an absolute disadvantage. About to die. How had he suddenly beaten Xiang Yunfei? You. Xiang Yanfei looked at the saber stabbing out of his chest with disbelief. He felt a vast energy sealed within the saber. As long as Long Chen willed it, that power would explode and blow him to bits. Do you dare to try moving? Long Chen smiled coldly. However, he wasn't speaking to Xiang Yanfei, but to the air. Just as Evil Moon stabbed through Xiang Yanfei, a giant blade condensed of stars appeared behind Long Chen. That blade didn't dare to move. It stopped right there in the air. Long Chen, release Xiang Yanfei, and I'll spare your life. A harsh shout came from the void. It was the same voice that had warned Xiang Yanfei before. However, that person had still been one step too slow. Long Chen had struck first, and Xiang Yanfei's life was in his hands. Now, he didn't dare to act rashly. TCH, someone who doesn't even dare to expose their face isn't qualified to threaten me. It would be best if you obediently didn't move, or you'll only have yourself to blame. Long Chen sneered at the voice. This person was hiding in the void and was the one in control of the formation. Long Chen had been prepared from the start, knowing that if he wanted to kill Xiang Yanfei, he had to avoid this person. Now he had succeeded. So you ran on purpose, while what I killed was just a clone. Your true body launched a sneak attack while I was caught up in that. What a despicable trick, raged Xiang Yanfei. You're wrong. True experts disdain using clones. That was just an afterimage. You really are an idiot. I intentionally unleashed flashes of lightning while running, but you actually thought that meant victory was in your grasp. You didn't realize that my true body had already escaped your attack. When you killed my afterimage, it was fated that you would die today. I told you that I would kill your clone. Even if you have someone helping you, it's useless, said Long Chen indifferently. Xiang Yanfei's loss was caused by his overconfidence. He believed the information his bone spears had given him and had been completely tricked by Long Chen's lightning afterimage. The expert hidden in the void hadn't been tricked, but he had been one step too late to stop the results. Ha ha ha. So what? I'm just a clone. Even if you kill me, will you be able to stop the astral blade behind you? I admit I was careless, but if this is all you have, you wouldn't even be able to receive 10 attacks from my true body. 
Although I lost, I don't believe you dare to kill me. I don't believe you would sacrifice your own life for my clone, sneered Xiang Yanfei. Xiang Yanfei's life was in Long Chen's hands, but there was an astral blade behind Long Chen. It had already locked onto him. If Long Chen really attacked, he would immediately face an apocalyptic attack. He would have no chance of running. That was why Xiang Yanfei felt no fear. He refused to believe Long Chen would choose to die with his clone. That was impossible. I really don't understand where your confidence comes from. To tell you the truth, if it wasn't because I wanted to see your abilities, then even with that big tortoise guarding you, I'd have long since killed you. However, my luck today has made a heaven-defying reversal. So you haven't disappointed me. You've given me such a big gift before your death. I'll accept it, and there's no need to thank me. I will make sure to take good care of it in your place. Well, everyone's busy, so goodbye. Evil Moon's two dragon images lit up, and a sharp saber image pierced into the sky. Xiang Yanfei's body was torn to bits. Heavens, Long Chen really did kill Xiang Yanfei. All the experts jumped in shock. Just what was Long Chen doing? Die. Just as Long Chen killed Xiang Yanfei, a furious roar came from behind him. That person also hadn't expected Long Chen to attack. The astral sword behind Long Chen unleashed endless divine light as it slashed at him. However, what shocked everyone was that Long Chen completely ignored the astral blade behind him. Instead, the black saber image of Evil Moon's grew even larger. Boom. Evil Moon's saber image tore through the clouds, revealing a thick chain in the void. It was severed by Long Chen's attack. The moment he severed the chain, the astral blade that was about to kill him dissipated. The stars in the sky faded, and the world returned to its original appearance. However, now there was a white-haired elder wearing a silver mask in the sky. He was staring lifelessly at the air, still yet to recover from his shock. As expected, it is a shameful fellow. You even have to hide your face with a mask. Long Chen laughed after destroying the Grand Formation. He was already flying away. Long Chen might not be a Formation Master, but Evil Moon had clearly seen the note of the Formation. That was its fatal weakness. That was why Long Chen dared to be so brazen. Boom. Long Chen suddenly punched the ground, causing everyone to jump. They didn't know what he was doing. White Bone Spear shot out of the ground after having dug so deep thanks to Xiang Yanfei's attack. Because of the battle, the land was deformed, and the originally flat ground around the eastern Xuan city had risen. However, as the White Bone Spears flew out of the ground, they caused the raised land to crumble back down. Damn. So it was for these spears Evil Moon now finally understood why Long Chen had fled from that attack. Are you joking? Each of these is a divine item. I still feel so much pain after destroying 18 of them. Long Chen waved his hand, instantly drawing those 90 bone spears into the primal chaos space. Having lost the control of their master, they couldn't resist. Haha, <laughs> my gains today aren't bad. I didn't fight for nothing. Long Chen laughed delightedly. Having gained 90 divine items at once, he really had profited. Boom. Long Chen had just taken the bone spears when the world shook. The elder had finally reacted. He spread his arms. A black and a white ripple spread from him, transforming into a huge cyclone filled with the power of life and death. It's a, a, nether passage expert. When that elder unleashed his aura, the world seemed to bow to his will as if he was the ruler of heaven and earth. With a thought, he controlled whether people lived or died. All the present experts knelt one by one. They didn't want to kneel. But in front of that terrifying spiritual pressure, they had no way to resist. Ah, the old tortoise is showing his might. As expected, the power of a tortoise is great. Let me slash you as a test. Just as the world was being controlled by the power of a nether passage expert and the experts present were involuntarily kneeling, Long Chen took a step forward. Evil Moon pointed at the sky and slashed down. He was completely unaffected by this pressure that rendered others unable to move. Bang. Long Chen's saber image didn't impact that nether passage expert in the slightest. It was directly crushed by the pressure of his domain. Long Chen was gobsmacked. He raged. Wow. What a hard tortoise shell. This tortoise has already gained a spirit. I wouldn't want to provoke you. So I'll say goodbye. Long Chen had faced nether passage experts multiple times. 
He had even killed De Long's clone. However, as he had never truly fought an Ether Passage expert going all out, he couldn't help but test himself Novaloon.com as a result. This attack of his didn't even manage to touch his opponent. There was no way for him to fight. If he still didn't run, he would be an idiot. Long Chen turned tail and fled. The life and death energy here had formed a powerful domain, but it didn't affect him at all. He vanished like a wisp of smoke. Keep dreaming. The Nether Passage expert let out a furious roar. A huge heaven-encompassing hand slammed toward Long Chen. A tortoise's claws are actually this long. Long Chen let out a startled cry. Without turning back, he slashed Evil Moon behind him. Split the heaven six. Shockingly, Long Chen's attack cut the heaven-encompassing hand in two. It dissipated into runes. So it was just to frighten others. You're clearly an idiot from the ancient races who wanted to learn the human race's magical arts. If you want to learn, you should learn properly instead of using your dabbler arts to frighten others. You've lost the face of your human ancestors. Even I feel embarrassed by you. Long Chen had just been testing to see if he could break this attack. But as a result, this seemingly powerful attack was actually weak enough for him to easily break. He immediately understood that this was a magical art, not a divine ability. The ancient race's magical arts were learned from the human race. Due to the eventual fracture between them, the magical arts that the ancient races possessed were not top tier. Their actual power wasn't very great. As for Split the Heavens, it was extremely effective against any defensive magical art. It broke this magical art very easily. This attack from the Nether Passage expert instantly exposed where he came from. A human's magical art couldn't possibly be so garbage. As for the Xuan beasts, they didn't use magical arts. It was completely obvious. The experts in the eastern Xuan city were badly frightened. They couldn't help but be afraid of a Nether Passage expert in control of life and death energy. However, Long Chen was still indifferent, seeming to not place this expert in his eyes. Just that bravery alone made people want to prostrate themselves in admiration toward him. Furthermore, Long Chen had even attacked once before leaving. How badass was that? That Nether Passage expert actually wasn't able to stop Long Chen. Seeing that Long Chen was about to escape his domain, he let out a furious roar. A giant figure appeared behind him. When that figure appeared, the Nether Passage expert opened his mouth and fiercely inhaled. Space crazily twisted and poured into his mouth. Long Chen felt his body come to a stop. Hence, he turned to look back. What the fuck? I didn't think that my mouth would be so accurate. Chapter 1744 Let's try another slash translator. Born to be Long Chen turned back to see a giant figure that had appeared behind the Nether Passage expert. The figure wasn't very clear, but it was really a black tortoise. The Nether Passage expert had unleashed a divine ability, and Long Chen felt a powerful suction force pulling him back. An old tortoise is actually able to gain a spirit. Amazing. Thunder force circulated around Long Chen. Bolts of lightning shot out of him as he fought back. But this time, the Nether Passage expert was not using a magical art, but a divine ability. This was one of his true killer moves. No matter how Long Chen struggled, he couldn't get away. Old Tortoise, if you have the gods, fight a few rounds with your master Long, shouted Long Chen as he struggled. That Nether Passage expert completely ignored Long Chen's mocking. His mouth was like a black hole, sucking up heaven and earth. Long Chen was rapidly being pulled in. However, when Long Chen was just a hundred miles away, the Nether Passage expert suddenly sensed something and shut his mouth. Explode just as he shut his mouth. Long Chen let out a shout. The Nether Passage expert suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. Sparks of lightning flashed within that blood. He had clearly just been conned by Long Chen. Old Tortoise. It seems you're not picky about your food. Is the taste of my lightning so good? Long Chen was enveloped by lightning. It looked mighty and had won him some breathing room. However, the truth was that this five-colored lightning was only used to scare off others. His true killer move was not the flashy five-colored tribulation lightning, but the violet divine lightning whose aura could not be sensed. After Lai Long had managed to absorb it, its divine might had been hidden making it very useful for conning others. 
that Nether Passage expert had swallowed a lot of divine lightning runes while sucking up everything in front of him. Fortunately, he had sensed it quite quickly, or if he had continued absorbing the runes, he might have died. Despite that, plenty of divine lightning runes had been gathered in his stomach and were detonated by Long Chen. Even a Nether Passage expert couldn't help but cough up a mouthful of blood. Long Chen, who had been waiting just for this moment, felt the power of the Nether Passage expert's domain weaken. Split the heaven six. The attack he had been brewing this entire time slashed out. Evil Moon's runes lit up, and a black saber image slashed down like the Grim Reaper's blade. All of this happened seamlessly. Without the protection of his domain, the Nether Passage expert was startled. By the time he reacted, Evil Moon was already right in front of him. At a critical moment, he dodged his head out of the way, managing to avoid a hit to a vital area. Long Chen's saber slashed into his shoulder. Blood spurted out. Evil Moon slashed halfway down his shoulder before being unable to progress further. A thick golden tortoise shell had appeared on his back, blocking Long Chen's attack and causing a backlash that numbed Long Chen's hands. What a tough tortoise shell. Seeing that his attack couldn't kill the turtle, Long Chen left behind some words of praise before running away again. What kind of joke was that? Even in a perfect scenario when his opponent was caught off guard and without his domain, Long Chen hadn't even been able to cut off an arm. What was the point of still fighting? The Nether Passage expert was startled at being injured, as well as enraged. He hadn't expected a little soul transformation disciple to be able to injure him. Although this little injury was nothing to him, if he hadn't sensed the lightning fast enough, it would have really injured him heavily. He had never encountered such a powerful thunder force. Even his life and death energy had been unable to suppress it. This injury might be nothing to him, but it still infuriated him. If others knew that he, a Grand Nether Passage expert, had been injured, it would be absolutely embarrassing. Where do you think you're going? The Nether Passage expert transformed into a wild gust of wind, and life and death energy surged out of him. His speed was absolutely stunning. Where am I going, idiot? Do you think I'd tell you? Long Chen had already escaped the Nether Passage expert's domain. Activating the celestial lightning body blink, he vanished. When it came to fighting, he wasn't a match for this Nether Passage expert. However, when it came to speed, he was unafraid. This tortoise is actually quite fast. Long Chen was rushing away. Lightning wings in full force. There was even lightning on his feet. And each step brought him hundreds of miles away. However, the Nether Passage expert was still getting closer. What the fuck? How can a tortoise be so fast? That makes no sense. Hey, what breed of tortoise are you? How come I've never seen a tortoise that can run as fast as you? Shouted Long Chen as he ran. Courting death. The Nether Passage expert's life and death energy suddenly transformed into a hurricane that pushed him on, increasing his speed even further. He almost caught up to Long Chen instantly. What? Back in my day, there were tortoises everywhere, but none were like this. Long Chen suddenly formed hand seals, turning the surrounding region into his lightning domain. He instantly dodged to the edge of the domain. Doing this repeatedly, he was essentially teleporting away. He pushed the celestial lightning body blink to its maximum power. Bastard. How can you be so fast? The nether passage expert roared furiously. After just a few blinks, Long Chen was almost out of the expert's vision. If this continued, he really would get away. Life and death gates. Open. A black gate appeared in front of the nether passage expert. He charged through it, vanishing. Up ahead. In front of Long Chen. A white gate appeared which he reappeared out of. This move was somewhat similar to Long Chen's celestial lightning body blink. He wasn't as fast as Long Chen when it came to activating this art, but the distance he crossed was much greater. Like this, he was unable to catch up to Long Chen, but Long Chen was also unable to throw him off. The experts in the eastern Xuan city saw Long Chen injure the nether passage expert with his saber before fleeing while the nether passage expert roared furiously and chased after. The two of them instantly vanished from sight afterward. This speed. These experts were unable to describe this level of speed. They had never heard of this kind of speed, let alone personally witnessed it. Clearly, 
Xiang Yanfei challenging Long Chen with his clone was just a joke. Long Chen didn't even use his full power to kill his clone. You're right. Long Chen knew there was a nether passage expert here and still jumped into their trap. Even in front of the guard of a nether passage expert, he still managed to slay Xiang Yanfei's clone. He didn't even place that nether passage expert in his eyes. That means he still has many trump cards he has yet to reveal. He obviously didn't want to waste them here. Experts were all like that. If they didn't feel assured of killing their target or getting something out of it, who would foolishly expose their own trump cards? That was meaningless. However, Xiang Yanfei also isn't weak. Although a clone would theoretically possess 80% of the power of the true body, due to his lack of bloodline power and heavenly bone spears, his clone was far weaker than his true body. That's true. Most experts only use their clones to increase their combat comprehension and cultivation insights. It's just that Xiang Yanfei underestimated Long Chen. The destruction of his clone should cause a great deal of harm to him. He'll be missing part of his soul and blood. However, with the barbarian mammoth race's ancestral spirit protection, he should be able to recover. This kind of humiliation will definitely infuriate Xiang Yanfei. There will be a true earth-shaking battle between them in the future. Heavenly geniuses were most afraid of having their Dao hearts shrouded. Xiang Yanfei had now lost his clone to Long Chen, and that was sure to leave a shadow on his heart. If he didn't defeat Long Chen with his true body, it would very likely become a heart devil. That was why whether it was because of Long Chen's enmity with the ancient races or because he had killed his clone, Xiang Yanfei would definitely have a bloody battle against Long Chen. This was already set in stone. What do you guys think? Who's stronger? Long Chen or Xiang Yanfei? Everyone fell silent. Thinking about this, the majority of people shook their heads. Unable to come to any conclusions. Is the world of heavenly geniuses a place people like us can step into? Don't waste the effort thinking about it. Just happily look up at them. Said an Empyrean. He patted the dust off his clothes. Summoned a flying boat. And left. Even a powerful Empyrean said such a thing. His voice had been full of bitterness and discouragement, causing the others to also feel sad. Wasn't that precisely the case? They weren't even close to the same level. They were fundamentally different existences. Even an Empyrean was given such a blow, let alone the Celestials. Even their excitement at having witnessed such a battle faded. You can't put it like that. The Great Era has come, and fate is in flux. We might be weak now, but who would dare guarantee that we might not soar like a shooting star tomorrow? So keep your dreams. After all, who said that you have to settle just because you weren't born in the right background or with good talent? Isn't Long Chen the best example of this? Zheng Wenlong. Everyone looked up to see that the speaker was standing at the top of the Huai Insects building. Zheng Wenlong was smiling faintly. The Huai Insect doesn't let us gamble, but if we could, I. Zheng Wenlong, would gamble everything on Long Chen's victory after saying that, Zheng Wenlong vanished from their sight, the battle had ended, looking at the empty battlefield to the direction that Long Chen and the Nether Passage expert had vanished, everyone else also slowly scattered, chapter 1745 descending into the ancient races translator, born to be hey, you old tortoise, are you planning to have a game of the tortoise and the hare with me, let me tell you, I definitely won't fall asleep, so just give up. Long Chen was running as fast as possible, seeing the Nether Passage Expert close on his tail. He let out a shout. As for the Nether Passage Expert, he still had a mask covering his face, but the corners of his mouth were constantly twitching. He was clearly infuriated. The reason he wore a mask was to cover up the blood mark on his forehead that would sell out his identity. However, even if he was wearing a mask, Long Chen knew that he was from some tortoise race, so he repeatedly called him an old tortoise, synonymous with calling him a bastard. Hey, you old tortoise, why won't you leave me alone? Hey, I'm talking to you. Is being a tortoise fun? You get to be a bastard and a cuckold for life. Hey, can you speak? As Long Chen ran, his mouth didn't slack off. No matter how Long Chen cursed him, that nether passage expert didn't take his bait and respond. However, his trembling mouth told Long Chen that he was going crazy with rage. He probably couldn't speak. Hey, you can't catch me. 
So you should just give up. Otherwise, if you fail, you'll feel so depressed that you might kill yourself. Why bother? Advised Long Chen. The nether passage expert finally coughed up a mouthful of blood from rage. Little brat. Just wait for me to catch you. I'll definitely make you beg for death. Hey, why are you so angry? I'm just talking here. Tortoise blood is a good supplement, so don't waste it. Can you pack it up for me so I can use it to make wine? Shouted Long Chen. However, now he found that the nether passage expert refused to make a sound again strangely. You don't need to waste the effort. He has already blocked his ears and is only using his spiritual strength to keep a lock on your aura. Whether you shout or use spiritual fluctuations, he won't hear you. That wasn't a bad idea for him. Just now, when he coughed up blood, his life and death energy surged chaotically. It almost caused a backlash. You should know that if a nether passage expert's life and death energy becomes unbalanced, it will be very dangerous for them. Especially if it's the death energy that erupts. If he didn't do this, he'd really die from anger. Evil Moon's voice contained a strange emotion now. Life and death energy was incredibly powerful, but it was a double-sided blade. If the user didn't control it properly, they would end up killing themselves. If that nether passage expert really did die from Long Chen's cursing, he would probably be recorded as history's most useless nether passage expert. Long Chen. What exactly are you planning? With your speed, you can easily throw him off. You couldn't be really planning on angering him to death, right? Asked Devil Moon suddenly. If Long Chen used his full power, his lightning domain would instantly grow and allow him to throw off this nether passage expert. That wasn't even difficult. We're already so familiar with each other, and you still don't know what I'm planning? You're hurting my feelings here. Fine, we've basically arrived. We're going to the territory of the ancient races. Just now, did I let you absorb a bit of his essence blood? Help me find this bastard's tortoise hole. HMPH. If I didn't give them a vicious blow, they would never remember not to mess with their master long. Laughed Long Chen. What the? So you're planning on? Damn, you're really evil. But I like it. He, I feel like I'm being corrupted by you. Why does it feel so delightful to con others? Humans really are interesting, praised Evil Moon. Fuck off. It wasn't as if you were originally some nice and innocent person. When it comes to being evil, we're two sides of the same coin, snorted Long Chen. After all, Evil Moon belonged to the dark evil dragon race. It literally had the word evil in its name, yet it called Long Chen evil. What nonsense. My dark evil dragon race only cared about fighting directly with our actual power. Although we might be cruel, before meeting you, I didn't even know what a sinister plot was, said Evil Moon. HMPH, if you didn't even know what a sinister plot was, where did the evil part of your dark evil dragon race's name come from, demanded Long Chen curiously. I actually don't know. There are over 300 branches of the evil dragons, and it's impossible to trace back our origins. As for the evil dragon race's history, TCH. Who has time to study that? If I had time to study such a thing, I'd have long since been devoured by other evil dragons, said Evil Moon. Nice, we've arrived. Long Chen suddenly let out an excited shout. An endless range of mountains had appeared in front of them along with countless ancient buildings. These buildings were built into the mountains, which had many caves. It looked very primitive. This was the world of the ancient races. In all of history, there had been four cases of the ancient races expanding their territory. The ancient races split their territory amongst themselves, with each race getting their own land. It was easy to recognize the land of each race because they would have a giant statue at their front gates. That statue was their symbol and signified which race they were. Long Chen, let's have a good fight. We'll slaughter these ancient races. Evil Moon had an intense urge to kill. Perhaps because it had been so long since it had had a satisfying slaughter. However, Evil Moon waited a long time without receiving a reply from Long Chen. It asked, Did you hear me? Long Chen still didn't reply. He was flying through the air, looking at the tribes living in the mountains. He saw groups of children playing by the waterside, and women not far looking over them. Novaloon.com seeing the naive and innocent smiles of those children. Long Chen was conflicted. 
He hated the ancient races. He wanted to kill all the ancient races experts. He wanted to destroy those bastards who forgot their own ancestors and history and only knew how to kneel to the Schwen beasts. However, when he saw those children, he was conflicted. He wanted revenge. But did that mean he had to kill these children who had just been born? Long Chen, I know. Why are you wasting your time? Enemies are enemies and should be pulled up by the roots. You are going to kill their fathers and mothers. But if you don't eliminate the roots, then once they grow up, they'll kill your descendants, said Evil Moon. Having seen through Long Chen's thoughts, so by destroying the roots, there won't be any more trouble, asked Long Chen. Of course, then tell me. Your dark evil dragon race is cruel and vicious, and I suppose you subscribe to that principle of destroying your enemies by their roots. So tell me, do you have no enemies then? Evil Moon was silent. The dark evil dragon race had many, many enemies. Evil Moon, I don't know how you view me, but as long as someone can fight shoulder to shoulder with me, I can call them my brother, and you are no exception. Although you've lived countless years, even having once fought with a sovereign, there is just one thing I have to tell you. There are no absolute rights or wrongs in this world. Even a sovereign, even a god, cannot be absolutely correct. If a person really feels that what they do is absolutely correct, then they are not far from becoming a devil. I am enemies with the ancient races. Neither of us is wrong. They want to kill me. So I naturally must get vengeance. That is right. As for the ancient races, they don't get along with the human race and want to eliminate threats in preparation for the storm. To the ancient races, this is also right. They are right. And I am right. Then who is wrong? What's wrong is this era we live in. We were born in the wrong era. If a sovereign was still present to rule over the races, we would be at peace. With the races living in harmony, our civilization would prosper. But that is not the case. I want to kill them. Right now. That's right. But a thousand years from, it might not be. Most importantly, in the face of these innocent children, I just can't attack. Although I know you'll curse me for being stupid. Please let me be this stupid. Sighed Long Chen as he flew past. Evil Moon was silent for a long while. Fine. I don't quite understand what you're saying. But thank you for viewing me as a brother. Although it didn't quite agree with his principles. Evil Moon was still a bit moved by what he had said. After being with Long Chen for this long, it had already seen through his character. His emotions were simple and direct. When Long Chen flew over the territory of the ancient races, he drew the attention of countless experts. They flew into the air to stop him. Long Chen slowed down. As for the Nether Passage expert behind him, he also slowed down. Things became strange. He also didn't want to fight within the territory of the ancient races. However, even if Long Chen had slowed down, that didn't mean he was so slow that these life star experts could possibly stop him. He flew past them. Because he was so fast, many of those experts didn't even understand what was happening before his figure vanished from their sight. News has come from that side. The Patriarch is personally chasing that little bastard. So everyone should be prepared. Once the Patriarch captures him, we have to immediately activate the transportation formation disc the little bastard will be transported here alone, and then we'll send him through 18 consecutive transportation formations all the way to the central Xuan region. After that, we'll immediately erase the spatial mark so that even if Kujin Ying comes, she'll have no proof. Don't be careless within the depths of the ancient race's territory, within a giant cave. A stern-faced elder was speaking. He didn't have a single hair on his head. Race leader, it has already been over an hour. Why has there still been no news from the patriarch? Could something unexpected have happened? Asked an elder. What a joke. That little bastard's only at the soul transformation realm. With the patriarch handling him personally, wouldn't he have to obediently be captured? Just patiently wait. Shouted the stern elder. They didn't know that their patriarch was so infuriated by Long Chen that to be safe, he had blocked off his senses and was focused entirely on chasing. He hadn't sent them an update. While they were still here, foolishly waiting. Boom. Just as they were foolishly waiting, a powerful explosion came from outside, shocking them. They all rushed out of the cave. Sorry for making you wait so long. 
I've come myself to your door. Up in the sky. Long Chen was smiling at the dumbfounded elders of the ancient races. Chapter 1746 Giving a Gift Translator Born to be Long Chen When they saw Long Chen, all those ancient race experts' expressions changed. Long Chen had descended on their tribe from the sky. Wow, tortoise lairs are very lively. You actually had so many people gathered. I suppose you must have been discussing me, right? Long Chen's gaze quickly swept through everyone here. He saw that not everyone here was from the tortoise race. The majority were from other ancient races. It was too obvious what they were thinking. They were definitely after him. Through Evil Moon's senses, Long Chen had found the place with the strongest bloodline aura of that old tortoise amongst these scattered tribes. That was why he had come here. The ancient races' tribes were different from the human races' sects. They had no protective formations around them. First of all, they didn't need them because no one dared to touch them. The second reason however, was rather embarrassing. It was because they had no idea how to set formations up. The entire tribe was thrown into chaos. Countless tortoise race experts surged out, surrounding Long Chen. At the same time, experts from the other tribes also rushed over. Long Chen watched all this with a faint smile on his face. That nether passage expert had been thrown off far into the distance by him. Using his life and death gates to travel was impossible. If he activated such power in this place, the weak women and children of the ancient races would definitely die. So he was still busy flying over. Furthermore, tortoises never specialized in speed. As soon as Long Chen and the nether passage expert had reached the territory of the ancient races, the latter had been thrown off. Long Chen. How dare you barge into my seven-star dragon tortoise race's territory. You'll pay for your sins. As Long Chen was surrounded by experts, a young man with a large tortoise shell on his back walked forward. A son of a tortoise also dares to be so arrogant Long Chen glanced at that person. He suddenly vanished, reappearing in front of that young man. Watch out. That voice came from the nether passage expert. He had finally managed to catch up. Long Chen was as quick as lightning, but that young man was also a powerful existence, an Empyrean. His tortoise shell instantly appeared in front of him, and seven runes were flashing on top of it like seven interconnected stars, emanating a heavy aura. The young man didn't show any panic seeing Long Chen's sudden attack. He had immense confidence in his defense. Boom. Long Chen's punch smashed through the tortoise shell, shattering it. At the same time, the young man was blown to bits. Long Chen's divine ring had appeared behind him, and he was covered in green dragon scales. He had instantly summoned his divine ring and green dragon battle armor, which allowed him to instantly slay this genius of the seven-star dragon tortoise race. Your shell was quite hard, but it's too bad it wasn't fully grown. You're still lacking compared to the old tortoise, said Long Chen indifferently after killing that person. In truth. Long Chen felt some sorrow for that person. He had actually been quite powerful, not that much weaker than Xiang Yunfei's clone. However, he had been too arrogant. He had thought that just his tortoise shell would be enough to block Long Chen's punch. Hence, he hadn't even activated his divine abilities. Of course, Long Chen had been so fast that it was unlikely he would have had time to activate any divine abilities. Even if he didn't activate a divine ability, he could have tried falling back while blocking with his tortoise shell. That way, he might only have been injured and not killed. He was too overconfident in his defense. So he had died. The nearby elders of the seven-star dragon tortoise race roared furiously. That young man had been their top heavenly genius. All their hopes for the future had rested on him. Long Chen, I will definitely kill you. The nether passage expert finally appeared in the sky but he didn't have the power to save that genius disciple of his. His eyes were completely scarlet as he let out a powerful punch at Long Chen. Patriarch, please get vengeance for Changling. The bald stern-faced elder let out a mournful plea. However, his mournful plea had just rung out when Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. Old tortoise, your identity has been exposed. Is there a need to keep wearing your mask? Long Chen didn't dare to face this berserk nether passage expert directly. That life and death energy wasn't something he could block. Hence, he activated the celestial lightning body blink, vanishing. The nether passage expert's punch missed. 
He roared and charged after Long Chen. Long Chen laughed. Don't be so angry. Look, you're trying to kill me, but I'm not flying into a rage like you. Didn't I only kill one of your bastard descendants? Why get so angry? Within his lightning domain, Long Chen repeatedly vanished, dodging his attacks. The ancient races were thrown into chaos. The weak fled for their lives, while the strong rushed over, surrounding the tribe. They formed a heaven-encompassing net to trap Long Chen. Patriarch, this place is too small for you to fight freely. Leave it to me. The bald elder suddenly rushed over at Long Chen with thousands of other experts. They were shockingly all half-step nether passage experts. They surrounded Long Chen, and outside of their formation was another layer of life star experts. A veritable sea of experts were layered like this to make sure Long Chen couldn't get away. It was impossible to count their numbers, but this place had gathered all the eastern Xuan region's ancient race's power. That nether passage expert was powerful, but he was actually too powerful. It was like trying to use a hammer to kill a mosquito. He didn't dare to use his full power, so it was better to leave it to a group of weaker combatants who could fight effectively. Don't. This person's combat power is extremely terrifying. Just surround him and don't let him run. Only I can face him. The nether passage expert shook his head. Of everyone here, only he knew just how powerful Long Chen was. He was the only one who could suppress him. If those half-step nether passage experts fought, it would only cause huge casualties. Wow, a nether passage expert is personally welcoming me. How moving. I'm not the kind of person who doesn't know how to repay kindness. It's my first time at your grand lair, and while I'm tied on money, I simply must give you this gift. Although this gift is rather meager, I hope you won't laugh at me. It's not the gift but the thought that counts. Everyone. Prepare your applause and cheers for this gift. Long Chen began to talk passionately as if he really was giving them a great gift. The experts of the ancient races had a bad feeling following Long Chen's strange words. But before they could do anything, the sky trembled. A terrifying pressure descended and an angry roar rang out. A giant figure fell onto the ground. It had twelve bone spurs on its back pointed at the heavens. A 12th rank sword spine armor dragon had shockingly appeared in front of them. What the experts were dumbfounded, unable to believe their eyes. However, the sword spine armor dragon let out an angry roar. Long Chen suddenly kicked its jaw so hard that its head flipped up. After that, Long Chen suppressed his aura and actually jumped onto one of the bone spurs on the back of the sword spine armor dragon as if everything that had happened before had nothing to do with him. The sword spine armor dragon had just been summoned out of Long Chen's spiritual space, and its last memories were still strong in its mind. Those were memories of it fighting Long Chen. Now, Long Chen had kicked its head and vanished, replaced by an army of ancient race experts. Its intelligence was very low, and it didn't know what these people were doing. It thought they were with Long Chen, and it furiously opened its mouth, shooting out its golden sphere attack again. Watch out, the nether passage expert appeared in front of it, holding a large tortoise shell in his hand to block the attack. Boom, the light sphere exploded, shreds of it tore through the void, and terrifying ripples spread. Full strength defense, shouted the bald elder. He also took out a tortoise shell and raised it in front of him. The other experts also entered their strongest defensive states. They had no time to run, the light spread in every direction. Even half-step nether passage experts were killed if they didn't specialize in defense. After all, this was a clash of nether passage experts. That power could destroy heaven and earth. The ancient race's experts had surrounded this place so tightly. Hence, the sudden appearance of the sword spine armor dragon and its attack left them with no time to run. Bloody mist filled the air after this one attack. It was unknown how many experts had just died from this attack. The tight defenses in this place were instantly broken, with only broken remnants remaining. Only the experts with great defensive power had survived. How did this end up happening? The nether passage expert was dumbfounded. He had never dreamed that his ancient race would end up like this. This attack had slain millions of life star experts. Not only was his race decimated, but the ancient races of the eastern Xuan region, which were under his command, had suffered a terrible blow. While the nether passage expert was still stunned, 
the sword spine armor dragon didn't stop. Killing all those experts with one attack had ignited its bloody nature. Its desire to kill erupted. It suddenly spun through the air, and its mountain-sized tail swung at the nether passage expert like a heavenly whip. Boom. The nether passage expert hastily threw his grief out the door and blocked. He was flung into the distance by the tail. Patriarch. All the ancient race experts let out startled cries. Chapter 1747 The Patriarch Coughs Up Blood Translator Born to be the nether passage expert was flung into the distance by the sword spine armor dragon's tail. He left a long ditch in the ground. After such an immense blow, the mask on his face shattered, and his hair flew away. He had been wearing a wig. Now that it flew off, it revealed that he was actually bald. He was an ancient elder whose face was covered in wrinkles. That face was currently filled with rage. However, his defensive power was shocking, as he didn't suffer any injuries from the sword spine armor dragon's tail attack. I'm fine. Where's Long Chen? The nether passage expert suddenly noticed that Long Chen, who had been kneeling on the sword spine armor dragon's back, had vanished. Fuck. Did we end up letting him run? We have to chase after him. The bald half-step nether passage expert shouted and was about to fly out. Get back here, everyone. You will only be sending yourselves to your deaths if you go. Help me handle this sword spine armor dragon. Its offensive power isn't that great, but its defensive power is terrifying. I will be the main force, and you work with me, ordered the nether passage expert. The only one in the ancient races capable of capturing Long Chen was himself. But if he chased after Long Chen, this furious sword spine armor dragon would destroy all the ancient races here. He no longer had the time to bother with Long Chen. The large tortoise shell in the nether passage expert's hand grew until it was the size of a mountain. He smashed it at the sword spine armor dragon. Boom. The sword spine armor dragon was struck and sent flying, flipping through the air. Its huge body was badly crushed. Dust and stone shot out in every direction. Taking advantage of this, the other ancient race experts attacked. The light of divine items lit up like stars in the night sky. Thousands of attacks landed on the sword spine armor dragon's body. All their attacks were concentrated on its abdomen, where its defense was weakest. Those attacks tore through its scales, sending blood flying. How is this possible? The ancient race experts were stunned to find that their attacks were unable to cause any serious injuries. The attacks of their divine items could barely pierce its outer defense, barely scratching its skin. The blood splashing looked like they were doing work, but in reality, this wasn't a fatal wound. The sword spine armor dragon was infuriated at being injured. It opened its mouth again, and a giant light sphere shot out. Anyone touched by that light sphere was instantly turned to dust. Even divine items were unable to stop it. In order to concentrate their power, those experts had been standing together. As a result, over half of them died to this one attack. This attack was different from the first one. It was faster and larger. It didn't give them any chance to react. They despaired. This sword spine armor dragon was even more terrifying than they had thought. Everyone retreat. I'll handle it. The nether passage expert roared furiously. His manifestation surged behind him, and a large tortoise appeared within it. Its body was covered in black and white runes. Life and death energy erupted. He had no choice but to fight all out. He could no longer care that this was the territory of the ancient races. If he couldn't suppress the sword spine armor dragon, this territory would be completely destroyed by it. He crazily smashed the giant tortoise shell in his hand on the sword spine armor dragon. Heaven shaking explosive sounds rang out. The land of the ancient races. Everything within millions of miles, was constantly shuddering, with the mountains collapsing, the people of the ancient races fled for their lives, when the nether passage expert used his full power, he immediately managed to suppress the sword spine armor dragon, the tortoise shell in his hand was an extremely powerful divine item, in the hands of a nether passage expert, it was unleashing amazing power, regretfully, it was a shield and not an offensive weapon, furthermore, the sword spine armor dragon was famed for its tough hide. Even if he was able to suppress it, he was unable to kill it quickly. Furthermore, as it struggled, its attacks pierced the earth and the sky. The other experts had no chance to attack. 
while any of its attacks could take their lives. The Nether Passage expert clenched his teeth. His tortoise shell smashed down repeatedly like a wild tempest, flipping the sword spine armor dragon across the ground. The sword spine armor dragon was only a magical beast, and its intelligence was very low. Since it was no Xuan beast, it didn't know how to fight intelligently, instead relying purely on its physical strength. Now its aura was showing signs of flagging. After half an incense stick's worth of time, the nether passage expert let out a shout and threw the sword spine armor dragon into the sky. Quick, attack its anus. The nether passage expert also launched a quick attack, smashing the sword spine armor dragon on its head. He smashed it so hard that blood spurted out of its mouth, and it fell into a temporary dizzy state. Novaloon.com Dozens of ancient race experts holding sharp blades charged over to that area that was even larger than a cave. The intense pain of their attacks caused the sword spine armor dragon to curl up. Suddenly, its butt was raised, and a smelly current shot out of it. A few of the experts had just charged in before they were forced out. That immense power tore through their bodies and they screamed. A twelfth rank magical beast was so terrifying that even the force of its fart wasn't something an ordinary expert could endure. Fortunately, several experts had charged far enough into its body that it didn't manage to expel them. The sword spine armor dragon began to furiously roar and struggle. Those experts within its body were crazily slashing its body with sharp blades. No matter how strong the magical beast, it wouldn't be able to handle such a thing. The sword spine armor dragon crazily twisted and turned on the ground. It was now powerless to fight the nether passage expert. The nether passage expert raised his tortoise shell that began to rapidly spin. He slashed it at the sword spine armor dragon's neck. Blood splashed. However, the sword spine armor dragon was twisting wildly, causing the attack to hit its tough skull instead. The tortoise shell was stuck in its skull and unable to be retrieved, being struck in its vitals. The sword spine armor dragon suddenly opened its mouth, unleashing a light sphere that struck the nether passage expert that was still trying to pull out the tortoise shell. The nether passage expert was surprised that it could still attack at this time. He summoned an instinctive light barrier around him, but when he was struck by the sphere, he still coughed up blood. Blood and flesh flew from his body. That had been the final bit of energy that the sword spine armor dragon had possessed. It collapsed. It was dead. The nether passage expert was covered in blood and infuriated. If he wasn't so skilled in defense, that attack could have taken his life. He pulled the shield out of its head. At this time, it was already dead, and the people that had charged into its body flew out. They were also covered in blood, coming out from the place they had entered. They were all stunned. The sword spine armor dragon's defensive powers were so great that even while it was dead and they were in its abdomen, they were unable to pierce their way out. Not good. Long Chen is killing our people in the eastern mountain range. Patriarch. Please save our people. Just at this moment, a young disciple wearing the robes of the ancient races flew over, sobbing. What? Long Chen. How dare you? The nether passage expert's fury soared, and ignoring everything else, he charged toward the east. The other experts also roared angrily and followed. In the blink of an eye, most of the experts left. Only a small number of people were left to clean up the battlefield. One of the elders looked at the young disciple. That disciple was actually walking over to the sword spine armor dragon, causing the elder to coldly shout, There's nothing for you here. Go stand to the side. He, that's not right. How is there nothing here for me? I was the one who started this, and I'm not going to let things finish on such a weak note. That disciple laughed. When everyone saw his face, startled cries rang out. Long Chen, that person wearing the robes of a disciple was actually Long Chen. However, he had had his head lowered and was wearing a hat, making it so that they hadn't noticed. Help. Blood splattered. The remaining experts on the battlefield were just life star experts. They weren't a match for Long Chen, and he slaughtered them in an instant. Although I know it's rude to take back a gift, I just don't like to waste anything. He, Long Chen waved his hand, gathering the sword spine armor dragon's corpse. He then vanished like a wisp of smoke, completely disappearing from the ancient race's territory. Long Chen, 
Long Chen had just been gone for a few breaths time when a furious row rang out. The Nether Passage expert returned with a group of experts. They had rushed over to the east to see that all their disciples were safe and sound. That had immediately told them that something was up. When they rushed back, they saw that the battlefield was still in ruins. The only thing missing was the sword spine armor dragon's corpse. The Nether Passage expert directly coughed up a mouthful of blood. He began to totter and the world was spinning around him. Things were going dark. Patriarch. The other experts were startled and immediately went to support him. Buzz. Just at this moment, space tore open. A majestic tower appeared, tearing through the void and bringing with it endless divine power and killing intent. When they saw the tower, the ancient races were horrified. They recognized it as the Zhuanshan Dao sect's core divine item, the Zhuanshan Tower. It had actually descended upon the ancient races at such a time. Was it going to completely destroy them? Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch walked out from it up the Zhuanshan Tower. Both their expressions were frosty, and they were both surging with killing intent. However, when they saw this chaotic battlefield, the tattered ancient races, and especially the Nether Passage expert who was still covered in blood and looked almost dead, their expressions became odd. Ah, it's nothing. We were just passing by. You don't need to send us off. Goodbye. Li Xiangxuan reacted quickly pulling the Patriarch back into the Zhuanshan Tower before the other side could say anything. They instantly vanished from the territory of the ancient races. They left behind the stunned ancient races, as well as a pile of ruins that stretched into the distance. Chapter 1748 Bandits Never Leave Empty-Handed Translator Born to Behold It Pfft. The Nether Passage expert was just about to try and stop Li Xiangxuan from leaving when he coughed up another mouthful of blood. As for Li Xiangxuan, he, the Patriarch, and the Zhuanshan Tower had already vanished. The Nether Passage expert of the ancient races was ashen. This time, the ancient races had been completely screwed. He even felt some regret for accepting the mission this time. It was the Xuan beasts who had prompted him to work with Xiang Yunfei to lure Long Chen out and capture him. As long as he didn't show his true face and wasn't recognized, there would be no solid evidence that it had been him. Even if people suspected the ancient races, if they didn't bring out any proof, they were powerless to do anything to them. It was a very shameless scheme, but also seamless. It was just that no one had expected things to develop to this point. Long Chen hadn't been caught. Instead, he had found the headquarters of the ancient races and completely destroyed it. Fortunately, Long Chen hadn't immediately attacked once he had arrived. He had allowed their weaker members to run. Otherwise, many of the ancient races would have found their lineage completely severed. Despite that, the sudden appearance of the sword spine armor dragon had half destroyed them. It was unknown how many tribes had been destroyed. This was an absolute humiliation to the ancient races. He, a Grand Nether Passage expert, had attacked and hunted down Long Chen, resulting in Long Chen finding his headquarters and destroying it. He didn't even have a reason that he could make up to strike back at Long Chen for his actions. In other words, even though Long Chen had turned the ancient races to their current state, they had no place to demand justice from. Worst of all, they would become the entire continent's laughingstocks. They would also be mocked by the other ancient races who would be disgusted by them, thinking that they had lost the face of all the ancient races. Originally, this was supposed to be a good way to win favor with the Xuan beasts, but now their entire plan had collapsed. The Xuan beasts definitely wouldn't be able to stand up for them over this. As for the ancient races in the central Xuan region, they wouldn't do anything for them either. Even the Nether Passage expert's head was blank. He had no idea what to do. A report for the Patriarch. Just at this moment, a disciple of the ancient races ran over in panic. What is it? The bald and stern-faced elder shouted coldly. The Nether Passage Patriarch was in no mood to listen to more reports. Long Chen, he, the disciple saw the dark expressions around him and jumped, stuttering too badly to continue. Hurry up, shouted the elder a bad feeling rising in his heart. Long Chen, he, he plundered the treasuries of the nine great races, and the other races didn't get let off either. A total of 246 races had their treasuries emptied. Those races, 
are all amongst our first tier races. What everyone's expressions changed. The Eastern Xuan region's ancient races were controlled by the nine great races, the nine strongest races amongst them. The seven star dragon turtle race was one of them. Other races were ranked first tier, second tier, and third tier based on their power. Over 80% of them were third tier races. Second tier races were a bit stronger, but it was the first tier races that possessed the greatest foundations and inheritances. They were the core power of the ancient races. They only had a total of 307 first tier races, but Long Chen had plundered over 200 of them in this short amount of time. That practically drove them crazy. Just how had he done that? Even if each of those races had opened their gates and invited him in, he couldn't have possibly done it that quickly. Naturally, Long Chen on his own was unable to snatch so many treasures. What they didn't know was that it had been three robbers, not one. He, Dragonbone Evil Moon, and the Heaven Flipping Seal had gone in three different directions. These three bandits would immediately use their divine senses as soon as they found a tribe and directly charge into their treasury, taking whatever was inside without even looking. Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal were divine items with separate spaces within them for storing things. As for why Long Chen was able to pull off this miracle, the main reason was because the ancient races had been unchallenged for so long that they didn't even think about needing to defend their territory. Not only did the tribes not have defensive formations, but the locations of their treasuries were practically identical. They could just charge through the gates and take what was inside. That was how Long Chen had been so efficient as to plunder so many treasuries in less than half an incense stick's worth of time. As for why he was able to so accurately plunder first-tier races, it was naturally thanks to the cooperation of the ancient races. The nine great races as well as the first-tier races were all located in the core region of their territory. The nine great races had a circular river around them to separate them from the first-tier races. The first-tier races were the same, separating them from the second-tier races. Long Chen naturally wouldn't be stupid enough to go running somewhere else to plunder. When he heard that Long Chen had not just snatched the corpse of the sword spine armor dragon, but also the wealth of the ancient races, the Nether Passage expert finally couldn't endure it any longer. He coughed up three mouthfuls of blood and fainted. Patriarch. The experts hastily went to help him. Their patriarch's aura was in chaos now, a sign he was about to be bedeviled. If he wasn't quickly healed, there was even danger of his body exploding. All the ancient races were thrown into chaos. The sun is shining, the grass is green, and the water's clear. Master Long can fish up tortoises even on dry land. Ha ha ha. Long Chen was in a good mood. He hadn't expected that he would be able to enter such a great trap as soon as he returned from the original devil race. He was even starting to admire himself. He really was talented. There was a mountain range of spirit crystals on his primal chaos space. Although he hadn't carefully counted, there had to be over 30 billion of them. The ancient races were incredibly wealthy, and they didn't need that many spirit crystals anyway. The spirit crystals that they spent on their cultivation were probably a tenth of what humans needed. Their spirit crystals were mostly used to trade with humans, but in the past few years, they had fewer and fewer interactions with humans, resulting in them accumulating a large number of spirit crystals. The ancient races were not nice and would rather just hoard these spirit crystals than trade with humans to get rid of them. That kind of idiot thinking was not favorable to their development. If they didn't spend money, it wouldn't benefit them. They wouldn't be able to get the resources that were in the human race's hands. The human race might spend a lot of spirit crystals, but the number of spirit crystals that the ancient races were hoarding was insignificant when compared to the entire continent. They couldn't possibly hoard enough to make a difference and actually stall the human race's development. By acting like this, the only ones suffering were them. Long Chen had not just taken such a lot of spirit crystals, but he had also obtained all kinds of must-have items that the ancient races needed for their cultivation. These things were useless to him. He stored those useless resources in a spatial ring and then crushed it, throwing those resources into the chaotic flow of space where they vanished from this world. These were stolen goods, 
and Zheng Wenlong couldn't accept them easily as it would cause a conflict between the ancient races and the Huaian sect Long Chen wouldn't want that either. As for the original devil race, although they had their black market selling a few of the ancient races items, they did it subtly, in very low numbers. The things that Long Chen had snatched this time were too high level, and he had so many of them. If he had the original devil race sell them, it would be telling the other side that the seller was working with Long Chen. The money that could be obtained by selling these things was not worth the danger. That was why Long Chen only kept the spirit crystals. However, this huge number of spirit crystals was enough to last him a long time. For the first time, he felt that his luck was pretty good. Long Chen, you shouldn't call yourself Master Long but Scoundrel Long because you're an absolute scoundrel. Even though my evil dragon race may be cruel and ruthless, at most we just kill others. But you, you make them live a life worse than death, said Evil Moon. The ancient races had been half destroyed, with the majority of their top experts slain. Their treasures had been plundered, Long Chen hadn't been captured, and he had even taken the corpse of the sword spine armor dragon. He didn't give them anything. Even Evil Moon was stunned. Then according to you, I should have slaughtered them to the last, completely annihilating them. Long Chen's lips curled. Death isn't frightening. You're making their lives a punishment. In my eyes, it's even crueler than killing them. Our perspectives are different. I've never thought about changing you, so you don't need to waste the effort to try imposing your views on me. The reason I left those women and children alive wasn't because I'm kind, but because I just couldn't do it. If I had forced myself, I would be betraying my own will. After all, they weren't my enemies. They hadn't attacked me. As for those people that have attacked me, I definitely won't have mercy on them when I slaughter them. If people don't like me, if they criticize me, if they have different opinions, I can wave it off. But if someone wants to kill me, then I don't care what reason they have. Whether I kill them with a slash of my saber, a kick of my boot, or a fart of my butt, it's all the same. They still die. So why bother arguing about this? No, I wasn't criticizing you. In truth, I also feel that conning people is even better than killing them. It has more technique to it. He, it sounds good. Evil Moon's tone suddenly changed and it laughed. What the fuck? I get it. You're trying to act like you're some good person. Huh? While I con others, you laugh inside. But afterward you blame it all on me and look disdainfully upon me. Ha, huh? Evil Moon, you really are from a dark race. Your heart is definitely black. TCH, the reputation of my dark evil dragon race isn't something you can insult. I take back what I said, snorted Evil Moon. So even Evil Moon cared about reputation so much. However, a black heart was a black heart. If you didn't even dare to admit it, then you would definitely be looked down on. Long Chen didn't bother wasting words on Evil Moon's disapproval. Gathering his thoughts, he began flying toward the closest city. It was time to return home. Chapter 1749 Crisis of the Devil Slaughter Rankings Translator Born to be when Long Chen returned to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he saw that the sect had been rebuilt. All the damage done by the corrupt path sneak attack had been repaired. Furthermore, the current Zhuanshan Dao sect gave Long Chen a strange feeling. It was like it was a slumbering beast that could unleash terrifying power if awakened. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen As soon as Long Chen arrived, the disciples guarding the gates bowed reverently. Long Chen greeted those disciples and was just about to go to Crouching Dragon Mountain when Li Xiang Xuan's voice rang out in his head. He wanted Long Chen to first go see him. You little fellow, how did you do this? Li Xiang Xuan immediately pelted Long Chen with questions when he arrived. What are you talking about? Asked Long Chen. Don't act dumb. When I went to the ancient races to save you, everything was already over. What I want to know is, how were you able to heavily injure a nether passage expert? Demanded Li Xiang Xuan. Even with his intelligence, he was unable to comprehend how Long Chen had been able to half destroy the ancient races in the face of a Nether Passage expert. The news that Long Chen had slain Xiang Yunfei's clone in the eastern Xuan city and was being hunted down by a Nether Passage expert had quickly reached Li Xiangxuan. At that time, he had been extremely worried for Long Chen. 
Although Li Xiangxuan knew that Long Chen was a heaven defier and wouldn't die at the hands of another person, there were no absolutes in this world. Who could guarantee that the heavenly deos wouldn't use the hands of others to kill him? By the time he received this news, Long Chen had already been being chased for a while. To catch up to them was not possible. So after thinking about it, Li Xiangxuan had decided to bring the Zhuanchen Tower directly to the ancient races. When the patriarch asked him why he was confident in going to the ancient races, Li Xiangxuan's explanation was the following. Long Chen could not defeat a nether passage expert, so he had only two options. One was to return to the Zhuanchen Dao sect, leaving that expert unable to do anything to him. The more brazen option was to go to the ancient race's home and make it so the nether passage expert had to be worried about hitting his own people. Then, it would be easier for Long Chen to survive and cause trouble there. The first option was the safest. But Li Xiangxuan was profoundly aware of Long Chen's character. With his temper, he would definitely make sure to launch a vicious counterattack on whoever was hunting him. So Li Xiangxuan had been confident that Long Chen would go to the territory of the ancient races and make a huge ruckus. That Nether Passage expert would be forced to hold back, giving them time to go save him. Li Xiangxuan's intelligence had accurately predicted Long Chen's thoughts and actions. The only area his prediction had failed was the conclusion of the events. That was because the conclusion was absolutely outrageous. Long Chen laughed and waved his hand. He brought out the corpse of the sword spine armor dragon. This place was the Zhuanchen Tower's space, and the Zhuanchen Tower could easily control the room to fit a giant mountain. Li Xiangxuan and the patriarch both jumped in shock. A sword spine armor dragon. Long Chen gave a simple explanation of how he had encountered and subdued the sword spine armor dragon. However, he didn't mention the original devil race. No wonder. The seven star dragon tortoise is known to have an unrivaled defense, but their offensive power isn't very great. As for the sword spine armor dragon, it is famed for being a perfect punching bag with monstrous defense. When defense is up against defense, it becomes a battle of attrition. Li Xiangxuan finally understood how the ancient races had been half destroyed. Xuan Master, are there any movements on the martial heaven continent? Long Chen was worried about Li Xiangxuan pressing him for details. Then he might have to tell the dishonorable story of his time as a bandit. So he immediately changed the subject. There are many movements lately, but it's the matter of the devil slaughter rankings that is the greatest. The images of Yu and Guo Ran fighting the devil creatures have been publicly released. Countless experts are saying that the two of you cheated, and that you didn't rely on your personal power, so your rankings should be cancelled, sighed Li Xiangxuan. In the end, there were still some traitors in the Zhuanchen Dao sect of the 180,000 disciples that had participated in the Battle of the Devil Abyss. Less than 80,000 had returned. But some of those people had betrayed the sect. The images of Guo Ran unleashing black water had been publicly released, and people said that Guo Ran was relying on nothing more than a cheat. His own power was garbage, and he wasn't qualified to enter the top 10. As for Long Chen taking first place, it had been done with the help of a mysterious expert from the original Devil Race. Although his final attack had been truly stunning. It had only had such great effect because those life star level devil creatures had been unable to defend. It didn't prove that Long Chen really had the ability to kill them all. So it was also cheating. Most importantly, the appearance of an expert from the original devil race caused countless people to point out that Long Chen had to be colluding with the original devil race. Before the truth of that matter was made clear, Long Chen should have his ranking removed. What's so important about the devil slaughter rankings that they want to remove us? Asked Long Chen. He hadn't considered the actual rankings to matter. The devil slaughter rankings are far more important than you think. As for why they're important, there are two reasons. One reason is that the heavenly geniuses who can enter the top 10 will be blessed by the devil slaughter divine tablet. Based on their rankings, they will each be bestowed a portion of the martial heaven continent's karmic luck said Li Xiangxuan, the martial heaven continent's karmic luck. This was Long Chen's first time hearing such a thing. Li Xiangxuan nodded. The devil slaughter divine tablet was personally made by Sovereign Yun Shang, 
A sovereign's wisdom and divine abilities are not things the likes of us can comprehend. In the past, the top 10 heavenly geniuses of the Devil Slaughter rankings were bestowed with the continent's karmic luck after obtaining the recognition of the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet, that allowed their manifestations to fully awaken, and thanks to the favor of the heavenly Deos, their luck would become absolutely heaven-defying. The benefits of this are far greater than you can imagine, which is also why the Alliance Head would order you to get into the top 10. The karmic luck you're bestowed won't just help you, but it will also have a secondary effect on the Martial Heaven Alliance. So getting this karmic luck isn't just for you, but also the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the Martial Heaven Alliance, and even the entire Righteous Path. It is very important. Aren't the Devil Slaughter rankings under the control of the Alliance Head? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Li Xiangxuan looked at Long Chen with a laughing smile. I know you're thinking of something wrong again. Do you really think the Alliance head would allow embezzlement? Let me tell you then. The Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet isn't under anyone's control. The Alliance head can at most communicate with it a bit. As for the rankings and the distribution of karmic luck, it is all done by the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet, and no one can change its decisions. A sovereign is a supreme existence whose power suppresses all. Their power transcends time. You actually thought you could cheat something that a sovereign created. Li Xiangxuan was practically speechless. Long Chen really had some crazy thoughts to even dare to think of something like this. Then are these people making such a fuss to force the Alliance head to declare her position? They want her to tell this matter to the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet so that it cancels my rankings. Asked Long Chen. No. The Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet was created by a sovereign and is connected to the Heavenly Deos. It can overlook this entire world. Even how many devil creatures you killed in the Devil Abyss was accurately kept tracked by it. Who could possibly trick it? The reason they're making so much fuss is to control public opinion. According to legends, when over half the people, or more accurately, when over half of the experts qualified to fight for the Devil Slaughter rankings disagree with your rankings, your name will be removed from the Devil Slaughter rankings, said Li Xiangxuan somewhat solemnly. What the fuck? There's such a thing? Then aren't I definitely doomed? Long Chen was speechless. What kind of crap was that? Wasn't that the real cheating? Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, they all hated him. Besides, who knew how many people in the righteous path wanted him dead, let alone half, probably over 80% of the experts on the continent hated him. These experts had to have reached the level of power allowing them to compete for the devil slaughter rankings. In other words, they had to have reached the soul transformation realm. It had to be known that such elite experts were all under the control of the various large powers. What made Long Chen most speechless was that the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet counted the votes of all the intelligent life forms on the continent. In other words, even the Corrupt Path's voice was counted. Would the Corrupt Path support him? Long Chen almost coughed up a mouthful of blood. Don't be so dejected. Perhaps things will take a turn for the better when the time comes. Furthermore, no matter what, you've at least made your name famous. Comforted Li Xiangxuan. This attempt at comfort was weak and feeble. However, it was the result of helplessness. Long Chen had too many enemies. At this time, they would definitely be against him. Whatever, I'm already used to my bad luck. However, that little fellow Guo Ran will probably cry. He was looking forward to the reward. He was planning on relying on that to reach the pinnacle of his life, said Long Chen helplessly. Most likely, this would be quite a blow to Guo Ran. His will was too weak. He probably wouldn't be able to endure such a blow. Whatever. He can handle it. As for me. I can't live off luck. Its power is the most unreliable. According to what you said. There's another reward other than karmic luck? Actually. I don't want to know. In any case. It has nothing to do with me. Said Long Chen irritably. Although Long Chen said that he didn't care. He couldn't possibly not care. He had clearly won his ranking through his power, but others could make it not count with just a word. He really had an urge to kill. Don't be too dejected. The Alliance head has been constantly on the move during this time. She has a great deal of influence amongst the senior generation, so she'll help you think of something. 
said Li Xiangxuan. You can tell the alliance head that she doesn't have to waste the effort. My bad luck is heaven defying, so there's no point, sighed Long Chen. Long Chen was very grateful to this fiery tempered senior who treated him so incredibly well. That was why he didn't want her to spend so much effort for him. It would be a blow to her when things inevitably failed. Man proposes, but God disposes. Sometimes you still have to make an effort, even if you think it's useless. Every little bit of effort is an increase in the odds of success. What if the one in 10,000 chance actually happens? Ha ha ha. This one in 10,000 chance was well said, laughed Long Chen. That was exactly what he was thinking. His chances were really far below 1%. Saying goodbye to Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch, Long Chen returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain. Luck was the least dependable thing. Raising power was more important. That was what was worth depending on. Chapter 1750 Timely Long Chen Translator Born to be Long Chen returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain through a transportation formation. At this time, the gates to Crouching Dragon Mountain were tightly sealed, and they were covered by its personal formation to prevent others from entering. Other than Long Chen, the rest of the Dragonblood Legion was in seclusion the entire time. No one had come out. Long Chen had just returned when he heard a heaven-shaking roar. He saw 10,000 cold beams of light pierce into the sky. That sharpness gave even him a chill. He saw the Dragonblood warriors wielding sharp blades. They moved like divine dragons, maintaining a grand formation that could transform with the blink of an eye. Long Chen was dazzled. Over 12,000 Dragonblood warriors were moving smoothly, sometimes like a wriggling dragon, sometimes like a grand god. Sometimes, they would transform to become a blooming lotus filling the air. The changes in their formations were so quick that Long Chen felt overwhelmed. Haha, <laughs> boss has returned. Taste my blade. Guo Ran, who had been at the front directing everyone, was the first to see Long Chen. Without a delay, his armor lit up and he charged at Long Chen. What? You want to be the boss now? Laughed Long Chen. He also wanted to know how Guo Ran had improved during this time. He faced Guo Ran's slash with a fist. Boom. Long Chen was shocked. Guo Ran's saber didn't budge from his punch. Instead, blood trickled down his fist. Guo Ran's saber was actually able to injure him. The thing that shocked him the most was that power was surging out of Guo Ran's saber in endless waves that continuously forced him back. Haha, <laughs> boss, I am no longer the old Guo Ran. Summon your divine ring. Otherwise, if I accidentally defeat you, I'll be embarrassed laughed Guo Ran. That pleased expression of his didn't have the slightest embarrassment. All right, then watch out. Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and green scales covered his body. His divine ring slowly revolved, giving him endless power. At first, Long Chen hadn't dared to use his full power for fear of injuring Guo Ran, but he found that as he increased his power, Guo Ran's power also rose. That startled him. He was already using 80% of his power. This was already the most power he had used when fighting Xiang Yunfei, but Guo Ran was still able to fight evenly against him. Nice, you have some power. Then I won't stand on courtesy Long Chen was about to unleash his full power, and while Guo Ran didn't say anything, the distant Dragonblood warriors suddenly started letting out shouts. Stop, quickly. Only then did Long Chen notice that those Dragonblood warriors were pale and covered in sweat. He immediately understood. You actually managed to transfer energy through space. At this time, he noticed that everyone's armor was glowing ever so slightly. It was very subtle. In an intense battle where everyone was fighting, it definitely wouldn't be noticed. Amazing. Even I was fooled. Well done. Long Chen laughed delightedly. He really had fallen for it. Thinking that Guo Ran had somehow managed to come up with some crazy idea and make something capable of storing energy and supporting him in battle. Long Chen hadn't expected that Guo Ran had been silently borrowing the power of the entire Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen hadn't sensed it at all. Haha, <laughs> boss, how is it? Your brothers haven't been training for nothing during this time, laughed Guo Ran, insufferably arrogant. That pleased expression made others have an urge to slap him. However, Long Chen had no choice but to admit that the Dragonblood Legion's combat power had indeed gone through a heaven-toppling transformation. 
It's just regretful that our brothers have been training for the better part of a day and exhausted a large amount of their energy. Or today I could have properly exchanged a few blows with boss. Guo Ran rubbed his fists. In front of Long Chen, Guo Ran was never able to conceal what he had developed. He always had to show him the new things he had come up with. He couldn't endure not showing him. Boss, Xia Chen also walked over and greeted Long Chen. At first, this kind of address had sounded a bit forced. But after being with everyone else for longer, he now called Long Chen boss very smoothly. It's been hard on you. Long Chen patted Xia Chen on the shoulder. He knew Xia Chen was a very prideful person. A large part of the reason why he was working so hard to train the Dragon Blood Legion was due to his pride. He wanted to prove his power. To prove that after he joined the Dragon Blood Legion, the Dragon Blood Legion's power would completely transform. How could Long Chen not see through that thought? It was just that Xia Chen's talent was even greater than he had expected. The battle formations he had just witnessed were absolutely astounding. If the current Dragon Blood Legion were to face the Devil Abyss's eruption again, then even without Long Chen, they would be able to easily slaughter those devil creatures. That was the difference. Actually, the connecting runes that Guo Ran and I designed have many flaws. During the energy transfer, a great deal is wasted. Actually, the majority of the energy is wasted. As for Guo Ran's armor, although it was reforged with a new formation embedded within, the amount of energy it can endure is limited. So there is even more energy wasted there as well when our brother's energy is transferred to him, said Xia Chen apologetically. Clearly, this was a problem that had been troubling him the entire time. He hadn't been able to solve it. Just being able to connect everyone into a formation is already amazing. At the very least, it'll increase the power of the Dragon Blood Cross slash by 10 times, said Guo Ran. After being together for so long, Guo Ran had understood Xia Chen's nature. He was a very serious person who didn't like the slightest flaws in what he did. However, just raising the Dragon Blood Legion's power to this extent was enough for everyone to prostrate themselves before him. It had won him all their respect. There's probably no way to avoid some energy waste during the transfer process, unless you can do it like Chu Yao and have our spirits connect. The Wood Spirit Union is capable of perfectly transferring energy, but it's impossible for everyone's spiritual fluctuations to be so close. Long Chen smiled comfortingly. He was already very satisfied with Xia Chen. Formation cultivators were truly terrifying. Wood Spirit Union? Sharing souls? Ah, I can't believe I didn't think of that. Xia Chen suddenly let out a startled cry. What? You want to? Guo Ran also thought of something. The reason the energy transfer is costing so much is because the energy is transferred through the runes without spiritual strength. That's what makes it so clunky. If the energy transfer is supported by spiritual strength, it will definitely save more energy. And then we won't just be limited to having everyone's power gather on Guo Ran. Everyone will be able to share energy with everyone, exclaimed Xia Chen. But... Boss also said that it's impossible to connect people's souls like that. We have 10,000 different souls, said Guo Ran. That's no problem. Even if we can't carve spiritual runes on hard armor, what about soft armor? Xia Chen's eyes were shining. Guo Ran clapped his leg, excitedly shouting, That's right, we can use soft armor for this. However, after a moment of excitement, they sobered up. Guo Ran said, but carving spiritual runes on soft armor requires the highest level of leather. What kind of pelt is capable of receiving such powerful runes and constant spiritual fluctuations without crumbling to endure the impact of over 10,000 people's souls connecting? They needed the strongest spiritual runes, and only the strongest of hides could endure those runes without crumbling. Even a half-step nether passage beast skin wasn't tough enough. Is this good enough? An explosive sound rang out as Long Chen tossed the sword spine armor dragon out of the primal chaos space. A terrifying aura caused everyone to jump and retreat. A sword spine armor dragon? Boss, you, did you prepare this for us in advance? Xia Chen's voice was trembling. He actually recognized this terrifying beast. Xia Chen, can you use this hide? On the other hand, Guo Ran was already used to Long Chen giving him pleasant surprises. 
The only question was whether this hide was high level enough or not. It's enough. It's definitely enough. The sword spine armor dragon's strongest aspect is its tough hide. Even quasi-divine items are unable to pierce it. It can definitely endure the impact of everyone's spiritual strength. Xia Chen touched the corpse, his hand quivering from emotion. Then what are you waiting for? Let's get to work. Guo Ran was even more excited than Xia Chen. Xia Chen pulled back his hand and shook his head. The sword spine armor dragon's hide is good, and I have the spiritual runes we need in my head, but we're lacking many materials. Most of the material I am carrying is for setting up grand formations. I have very few materials for spiritual runes, and their quality isn't high enough. What else do you need? Asked Guo Ran. Inscription fluid that must be refined from the essence blood of over 10,000 different magical beasts. And those magical beasts must have reached the 11th rank at least. There's also the inscription brush, the powder of the sky crystal stone, the underworld butterfly flower, the soul subduing paper. Xia Chen listed off dozens of items that people had never heard of. So what you're saying is you need more money? Asked Long Che directly. Yes, and a great, great deal of money. Right now, we can probably. Long Chen waved his hand and a mountain of spirit crystals appeared in front of everyone. Some of them rolled down the mountain with tinkling sounds. This mountain of spirit crystals stunned everyone. Boss, did you go plundering again? Asked Guo Ran. Is this enough? Long Chen ignored Guo Ran. Yes, it's definitely enough, said Xia Chen excitedly. Then all right, do your best to strengthen the dragon blood legion. If there's not enough money, just tell me and I'll think of something else. Long Chen left the sword spine armor dragon and the spirit crystals to them. He returned to his own seclusion room. Chapter 1751 Public Announcement of the Devil Slaughter Rankings Translator Born to be once Long Chen left, Xia Chen had an urge to cry as he looked at the tall mountain of spirit crystals. The feeling of having a boss was truly excellent. Before this, he had spent his spirit stone stingily wishing he could split each one in two before spending one. But now he had a rich boss. He was definitely and fully loyal now. He wrote a list of items and gave it to Qian Duoduo. Qian Duoduo was the one in charge of the Dragon Blood Legion's financial affairs, so he would be the one buying the items. Ever since Long Chen had accepted him to the Dragon Blood Legion, Qian Duoduo had become the link between the Huaian sect and the Dragon Blood Legion. He did everything neatly and tidily and had never done anything to cause Long Chen to worry. Back then, Qian Duoduo had made a small business during the disciple trial. When Long Chen had encountered him, he had felt that Qian Duoduo's head was pretty good. So he had accepted him into the Dragon Blood Legion. Now, Qian Duoduo had gone from an unremarkable disciple to a rank 9 celestial and was even well known amongst the Dragon Blood warriors. He had reached a level he had never dreamed of reaching before. After receiving Xia Chen's list, Qian Duoduo immediately set off to purchase the items. Because this was a major affair, Guo Ran accompanied him to prevent anything unexpected from happening. During the following few days, the Dragon Blood Legion no longer continued their training. They took a few days of rest. Xia Chen was busy planning the sizes of the leather armor and testing the endurance of the leather. Xia Chen chose the best parts of the sword spine armor dragon's hide, parts that were best for the spiritual runes. Three days later, Guo Ran and Qian Duoduo returned, bringing all the materials that Xia Chen had requested. Xia Chen finally experienced the world of the rich and how grand it was. With all the materials that they needed, Xia Chen and Guo Ran went into seclusion. Guo Ran was in charge of cutting off the sword spine armor dragon's skin and turning it into leather. The sword spine armor dragon was incredibly tough, and cutting it required special tools. Furthermore, those tools would quickly have their runes run out of energy and have to be switched out with newer ones. The blades that they were using were the best possible, and each of them cost over 10 spirit crystals to manufacture. Their runes were added by Xia Chen. If sold, they could go for over 30 spirit crystals. So whether it was forging master or a formation master, they were both money-burning professions. Guo Ran always had Long Chen's support, and so he never had to worry about money. However, Xia Chen had been alone before and was profoundly aware of how bitter making money was. 
Now that he didn't need to worry about it and could focus entirely on his work, he felt blessed. Guo Ran was creating the leather armor, while Xia Chen was adding the spiritual runes. The two of them worked day and night. As for Long Chen, he wasn't slacking either. After returning to his room, he spent all day crazily refining pills. He had already found a faster way to cultivate, so as long as he had enough medicinal pills, he could attempt to attack the Life Star Realm. Once he reached the Life Star Realm, he could do a few heaven-shaking things. First was subduing the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale. That was something that Evil Moon had told him he could only do once he reached the Life Star Realm. Before that, he would definitely die. The other major affair was undoing the Sovereign Seal on Evil Moon. Evil Moon would be able to unleash its full power at that time. So Long Chen was already getting anxious for the Life Star Realm. His enemies were growing stronger and stronger. He was already starting to fight with Nether Passage experts. If he didn't get stronger, he would be doomed. That was because his enemies weren't just powerful, but they were also growing increasingly shameless. As for the Heaven Flipping Seal, Long Chen had called over the busy Xia Chen and explained the matter of the Heaven Flipping Seal. Xia Chen had immediately inlaid a formation on the Heaven Flipping Seal that could allow it to recover faster. However, because it was a divine item, Xia Chen did not have the ability to create a formation allowing it to directly absorb divine energy. After all, Xia Chen could not create divine formations yet. Despite that, the formation he had added allowed the Heaven Flipping Seal to recover ten times faster than before. That already satisfied Long Chen. As for Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan, they had yet to come out of seclusion. After the last battle, their manifestations had shown signs of awakening, and they were still in seclusion. Rather than being worried that they hadn't come out after all this time, Long Chen was feeling excited. They would only come out quickly if they had failed. Since they hadn't, it meant that there was a good chance they would be able to awaken their manifestations. Long Chen and hundreds of Huo Long's split bodies were refining pills together. He bought over a thousand pill furnaces that were on the level of an ancestral item. That was practically all the stock of the Huai Insects high-level furnaces. With his spiritual strength working with Huo Long's hundreds of split bodies, Long Chen didn't even need to control anything. He just needed to lend the split bodies his spiritual strength. If it was just Huo Long refining alone, due to its limited spiritual strength, it would be unable to have so many split bodies refining at once, and the quality of the refined pills would be affected. With Long Chen lending his spiritual strength to it, not only was the quality of the refined pills guaranteed, but the speed had also increased greatly. Over a thousand pill furnaces were constantly lighting up, with medicinal pills flying out repeatedly. A small mountain of pills quickly piled up. This kind of refining speed would definitely scare normal alchemists to death. However, Long Chen knew that if he wanted to attack the Life Star Realm, he would need an unimaginable number of pills for it. With his understanding of the Nine Star Hegemon body art, the last three Havenstages required a huge amount of energy to break through. Each level was incredibly difficult. Time passed day by day, and 23 days passed in the blink of an eye. Guo Ran came over to interrupt Long Chen from his refining. He and Guo Ran left Crouching Dragon Mountain and arrived in the Zhuanshan Plaza. All the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples and elders were gathered here today. They were looking nervously at a projection of a divine tablet in the air. This was the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet. There were many names on it corresponding to the Devil Slaughter Rankings. Today was the day the rewards were given out for the Devil Slaughter Rankings. It had been 99 days since the Battle of the Devil Abyss had ended. All the large powers had been denouncing Long Chen during this time, criticizing him for colluding with the original Devil Race and using despicable cheating methods to take first place. As for Guo Ran, he was even more despicable using some bizarre black water to slay the devil creatures. There was no way he was qualified to be in the top 10. Have you told this matter to others? Asked Long Chen. No, I was worried it would affect their mood, whispered Guo Ran. Not bad, it seems you've matured quite a bit. It's best that they don't get too emotional over this. If their anger affected their cultivation, it would be bad. Boss, do we really have no hope? 
even if he had used the black water to kill the devil creatures, that was still his own power. If others had the ability, then they could get some death spirit water to use as well. If they didn't have the ability, then they shouldn't be able to accuse others of cheating when they did it. Do you want me to tell the truth or lie? Long Chen looked at Guo Ran. Fine. There's no point in believing your own lies. There are so many experts on the Martial Heaven continent, and at least 80% of the soul transformation experts are our enemies. As long as they pray to the Divine Tablet and say that they don't accept our accomplishments, our rankings will definitely be cancelled. Guo Ran deflated like a balloon. He didn't even have a desire to hear any words of comfort from Long Chen. Don't be so dejected. There will be more chances to change your fate. But if missing this chance makes you too dejected, angry, or resentful, you won't be able to grasp the next chance. Just look at your boss. I have never lived off luck. I got my opportunities through adversity. Did I complain? Am I any bit inferior to other experts of the same age? You're right, boss. You're the strongest person I've ever seen. No one can defeat you. Guo Ran nodded sincerely. He had almost blind confidence in Long Chen. Then let me tell you something. All right. I'm listening today. There's no way to solve this problem. So there's no need to think about it. Let time slowly pass. And tomorrow you will find. That fuck. There's still no way to solve it. Sighed Long Chen. Boss. You're just telling me garbage. Guo Ran was speechless. Let me finish. That's why I say. When you encounter something you can't solve. Don't worry about it. That will just waste your time. Since your time is precious, you should think about what you want to do. Sometimes acting as a spectator is the wisest decision, said Long Chen. Boss, I feel like your words are both deep and yet still sound like you're showing off. As expected of my boss, these are words that I would never be able to say in my lifetime. Guo Ran raised his thumbs at Long Chen, but then he added, but I didn't really understand anything you said, so can you explain it more simply? Ugh. To sum it up, work hard at messing around. What does that mean? Scram. Scram as far as you can scram. Now, do you understand? Long Chen suddenly leaned in and roared into Guo Ran's ear. Guo Ran hadn't expected this move and almost instinctively summoned his golden battle armor. He flew into the distance. Just as Long Chen and Guo Ran were messing around with each other, they arrived. All the eyes of the Zhuanshan Dao sect concentrated on them. They all knew that this was a tense time, and no one wanted to disturb them. At first, the profound words that Long Chen had said to comfort Guo Ran had made them not in approval, but then their words had changed, causing them to look oddly at the two of them. They didn't know just what kind of expression they should have. Just at that moment, the projection of the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet shook, and a majestic divine aura soared. The final announcement of the Devil Slaughter rankings is coming up. Everyone's hearts immediately clenched. Although Long Chen said that he didn't care, he also stared closely at the tablet. Chapter 1752 Unexpected Supporters Translator Born to be although this was just a projection and not the true Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet, it gave off a holy and sacred pressure that made everyone revere it. The divine light of the tablet was shining on everyone. A vast aura unfurled, but this aura didn't suppress them. Instead it was like a sacred baptism that made people have an urge to kneel toward it. This, this is the aura of Sovereign Yan Shang. The Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet really was made by him. Long Chen's heart shook. This sacred aura was something that he would never forget in his lifetime. The image of Sovereign Yan Shang reappeared in his mind. Although Long Chen had only managed to meet him through space and time, he had been profoundly won over by his aura. In his heart. Only a sovereign was a true expert and someone worthy of his profound respect. Buzz. Just as everyone was looking at the rankings, two of the names began to shudder. The hearts of everyone in the Zhuanshan Dao sect dropped. Those two names were Long Chen and Guo Ran. Guo Ran was pressing both his hands against his heart as if it would jump out if he didn't. Their names were constantly flashing. Right now, all the powers on the Martial Heaven continent were in their own headquarters. Looking at this projection, whether it was the righteous path, corrupt path, or the other various powers, they all had the right to attend the Battle of the Devil Abyss and split the battle rewards. However, this time, there was a great deal of struggle. 
Countless people had formed suspicions about Guo Ran and Long Chen's rankings, and some were directly opposing them. Long Chen especially had countless people cursing him for cheating, even within the righteous path. Those people were praying to the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet to have Long Chen's rank removed. Long Chen could only look down on the people doing such a thing. If his name was removed, then the second place Len Yuian would become first place. Did the people from the righteous path really want the corrupt path to gain the greatest karmic lock? Their heads were really full of crap. Although Long Chen didn't know exactly what karmic luck was, to tell the truth, he didn't really care about it. Now, he only felt angry at these idiotic people. This was one of the worst parts of the righteous path. They focused on bringing everyone else down with them. Sects harming each other was a common occurrence. However, once they faced the corrupt path, they immediately turned cowardly. From the eastern wasteland to the central plains, just how many geniuses of the corrupt path had Long Chen killed? He had never hoped for anyone to be grateful to him, but from start to finish, the righteous path's people continuously wanted to harm him, constantly slandering him. Anyone would be infuriated, especially someone with his temper, seeing his and Guo Ran's names flashing repeatedly. Long Chen's eyes were frosty, the white and black in his eyes actually began to merge as if they were undergoing some kind of transformation. Long Chen, suddenly, Evil Moon shouted in his mind, What is it? asked Long Chen. Nothing, what the fuck? Have you gotten dementia from age? Or are you just that bored? Long Chen was speechless. Just how bored was Evil Moon to play this kind of joke at this time? Kama Long Chen was unaware that following Evil Moon's interruption, the black and white merger of his eyes ceased, and they returned to normal. At this moment, the flashing of the two names began to slow down. Everyone held their breath. This was a critical moment. The results would quickly appear. Guo Ran was a bit pale, and he was breathing hard as if he was a convict waiting for his sentencing. Life or death, glory or disgrace, Guo Ran's name began to slowly dim. He collapsed on the ground. It's over. My name's been removed. However, Guo Ran's name began to brighten again. What Guo Ran immediately jumped up and shouted excitedly. A new line appeared behind Guo Ran's name. 33% against. 56% neutral. 11% supporting. The opposition has failed. And this name is officially accepted. Ha ha ha. Opposing me is useless. My name is Guo Ran laughed for a short moment before clamping his mouth shut. He saw Long Chen's name growing dimmer and dimmer until it almost vanished. Boss, exclaimed Guo Ran. It's fine. It's good as long as you keep your place. Long Chen smiled slightly. The fact that Guo Ran had kept his ranking allowed Long Chen to sigh with relief. No matter what, one of them had entered the top ten. At the very least, they had accomplished what Guo Jin Ying had asked them to do. As for himself, he was indifferent. He had made his preparations for the worst-case scenario. Furthermore, just before Evil Moon had teased him out of boredom, he had decided about what to do. If his name vanished from the Devil Slaughter rankings, he would officially leave the Righteous Path, making his Dragonblood Legion an independent power free of the restrictions of the Righteous Path. Whoever provoked him, he would destroy. However, at the same time as he had thought this, he had also thought of an even more brazen plan, that was to find every person who was slandering him and kill them. At that time, Long Chen had been filled with hatred. However, Evil Moon had distracted him, causing that surge of hatred to vanish. It was replaced with indifferent calm. In the end, Long Chen's name slowly vanished from the Devil Slaughter rankings. It well and truly vanished. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were infuriated. Bastards. Is the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet blind? How did senior apprentice brother Long Chen cheat? They're clearly bullying us. Angry roars rang out due to the disciples being overly emotional. These disciples had been in the battle with Long Chen, and they knew that if it hadn't been for him, none of them would have survived. Seeing his name truly vanish, they were enraged. Do not blaspheme the sovereign shouted an elder. The Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet had been created by a sovereign and represented the sovereign's will. For that disciple to say that it was blind was blaspheming the sovereign, which was unacceptable. So what if they're a sovereign? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen clearly relied on his own power to take first place. 
So how can the tablet decide that his contributions should be null just because of a group of despicable people? That's completely unjust. Exactly. Senior apprentice brother led us in the battle, and we personally saw everything. How can it do this? Everyone, don't get emotional. This little bit of grievance isn't worth crying over. We slaughtered our way through endless devil creatures and spilled blood without frowning. So how can you start acting up over something like this? If you're going to act like this, you can't tell others I'm your brother when you go out. Joked Long Chen with a smile. Although that was what he said. He was extremely moved. They really did support him sincerely. Just like he could accept others insulting him but not his people. They also could accept others insulting them. But not Long Chen. Heavens. Look. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen's name has reappeared. Suddenly. Someone cried out in shock. He pointed at the tablet with excitement. Everyone looked. Only to find that this person was lying. Long Chen's name was gone. They were just about to curse him when they found that Long Chen's name was really back. However, it was so faint that if you didn't look carefully, you wouldn't notice it. It, it's really back. Long Chen's name was slowly recovering, becoming clearer until it fully returned to its original violet gold color. It was even brighter than it was at the start. When Long Chen's name was shining at full force, a line of words appeared behind it as well. 64% against. 13% neutral, 110% supporting. What when they saw this line of words, everyone became dumbfounded. Had a problem occurred with the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet? It didn't even know how to count anymore? How could the numbers be so wild? If there were 64% of people against him, then even if the rest supported him, there would only be 36%. With that many people against him, Long Chen's ranking would be erased from the Devil Slaughter rankings. Furthermore, 100% was 100%. Where had 110% come from? Just what was 110% supposed to mean? The Zhuangshan Dao sect side was unable to comprehend, but a clamor erupted throughout the rest of the world. Had the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet really broken? It's them. Long Chen suddenly realized what was going on. He almost didn't dare to believe it. It's the sisters from the spirit world. They're supporting us. Guo Ran also cried out excitedly. There was no such expression as 110% in the martial heaven continent. But there was in the spirit world. It represented a pinnacle. Back in the spirit world. Long Chen and the others had conversed with the spirit races people. They had heard them use this term. One of their common phrases was. With my 110% gratitude. I bless you in the name of the life god tree to have a long life, happiness, luck, and to be free from sorrow and pain. This was part of their prayer. Long Chen and the others had heard it many times, so they naturally had remembered this strange phrase of 110%. But the spirit world isn't part of the martial heaven continent. How can they participate in the devil slaughter rankings? Xia Chen interjected. I don't know either. But Sovereign Yun Shang had a deep connection with the spirit world. Clearly, the support of the spirit world is enough to determine things. Even if everyone in the martial heaven continent was against me, they wouldn't be able to affect me. He, interesting. Those hopping clowns messed around for so long. So slapping them in the face is truly satisfying. I wonder whether any of them have coughed up blood and fainted. Long Chen had a faint, petty smile rejoicing in his enemy's misfortune. This sudden turnaround was truly refreshing. Just at that moment, the projection of the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet shattered. The world shook, and the clouds began congregating over the Zhuangshan Dao sect from every direction. Chapter 1753 Distribution of Karmic Luck Translator Born to be clouds surged over, forming two giant lotus-shaped clouds that revolved in the sky. As they spun, divine light appeared in the air. Gathering within the lotus flowers, the light also illuminated the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Everyone felt their whole bodies relax under that divine light. The trees and vegetation that were newly planted within the Zhuangshan Dao sect began to rapidly grow. Even the precious spirit medicines growing in the sect matured quickly. The entire Zhuangshan Dao sect became a misty wonderland. The ancestral statue of the sect seemed to be nourished by some kind of energy, and its divine splendor increased. The support of karmic luck, 
This is the result of even more karmic luck coming to the sect. My Zhuangshan Dao sect has truly risen. The elders cried tears of emotion. They had been guarding the Zhuangshan Dao sect for hundreds or even thousands of years. Even when the Zhuangshan Dao sect was in decline, they didn't think of leaving. In their eyes, the Zhuangshan Dao sect was their home. Whether it was rich or poor, it was their home. Hence, they were incomparably emotional. I never thought that I would get to see the Zhuangshan Dao sect's revival in my lifetime. I can die without regret now. The patriarch stood within the Zhuangshan Tower, looking at the shining ancestral statue and feeling the thriving vitality thrumming through the sect he also couldn't help but cry. Each generation's Xuan master's greatest hope had been for the Zhuangshan Dao sect to be restored to its former glory while it was in their hands. It was unknown how many amazing and ambitious Xuan masters had existed throughout history, but no matter how hard they worked, they never saw the slightest hope even when they died. Compared to his predecessors, the patriarch was very fortunate. He had managed to be in this era and personally witness the Zhuangshan Dao sect's restoration. Master, everything will only become better. This is just a start. I'm sure the Zhuangshan Dao sect's future accomplishments will surpass anything in history, said Li Xiangxuan. He looked from the two giant lotus flowers to Long Chen who was standing with his hands clasped behind his back, his expression calm. I'm profiting from you. I was lucky to have such an amazing apprentice like you. The patriarch sighed. While he had been in charge, he had done everything carefully. Although he had not made any mistakes, he had not had any accomplishments either. He had labored for nothing. Everything happening in front of him had nothing to do with him. This was the result of Li Xiangxuan's direction. Your luck was good, but mine is even better. I could bet everything on Long Chen. A. Eh? a good disciple. It was all thanks to Long Chen. Perhaps this is the will of the heavens, but we are just witnesses to this story. Being witnesses is also something to be thankful for. Even when we die, we can be proud when we face our ancestors, said Li Xiangxuan, smiling proudly. Perhaps in this entire world, only Li Xiangxuan would have the daring to leave a heaven defier in his sect. It was due to that daring that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had reached its current glory. More and more divine light gathered. Even the ordinary disciples were able to feel some kind of indescribable energy within the air. That was karmic luck, the most ephemeral existence within heaven and earth. Some people believed it, and some people didn't. No one was even able to bring out proof of its existence. However, in the face of this divine light, everyone felt a kind of sacred blessing silently coming over them. They felt at peace and happy as if the world was looking after them. We're benefiting from senior apprentice brother Long Chen. As the karmic luck gathers, a portion of it leaks, blessing all of us. The entire Zhuangshan Dao sect is also being infected by his karmic luck. It is now impossible to stop us from rising, said Wang Zhen emotionally. Wang Zhen, Hua Xiaoyu, and Zhao Ziyan had all joined the sect with Long Chen. They had been there at the start fighting in a competition, all the way to fighting against sea demons in the Eastern Sea. Now, they had reached their current level, which was also thanks to Long Chen. Although they weren't warriors of the Dragonblood Legion, the Zhuangshan Dao sect had relied on Long Chen to soar. If the Zhuangshan Dao sect hadn't risen, they wouldn't have been able to inherit its karmic luck to become Empyreans. Now, they had become pillars of the Zhuangshan Dao sect Hua Xiaoyu had even become the leader of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Furthermore, Li Xiangxuan had said that he might very likely groom her as his successor. As for Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion, everyone was already starting to sense that the shallow pond that was the Zhuangshan Dao sect was no longer able to hold them. An incense sticks worth of time later, enough divine light had gathered that the lotus above Guo Ran slowly bloomed. A foot-long sphere of light fell from it. It shone with all the colors of the rainbow. That light was sacred and divine. Everyone sensed a powerful blessing energy as soon as it appeared. This is karmic luck. Once he absorbs it, it's said that even if he just randomly bends down and digs, he'll be able to dig up a treasure. Even wanting to die will become difficult for him. People looked enviously at that sphere. That was a treasure you couldn't buy no matter how much money you had. At this time, Long Chen's lotus also bloomed. A rainbow pillar of light shot down from the sky. 
A huge whirlpool of auspicious clouds enveloped the Zhuangshan Dao sect. A three-meter sphere of light appeared in people's eyes once the lotus bloomed. That sphere had nine dragon images that were moving within it. As they moved, the whirlpool in the sky followed it. It formed a mysterious cycle, and people felt like they could hear a dragon cry from it. The ultimate karmic luck. Nine dragons roar at the heavens. The patriarch couldn't help opening his mouth. Even this kind of legendary thing had appeared. Haha. <laughs> Come. Guo Ran laughed because at this moment, his light sphere slowly flowered toward him. It stopped in front of him, and as he reached out to grab it, he felt immense blessing energy within. Wait a moment. Long Chen suddenly stopped Guo Ran from absorbing it. What asked Guo Ran? Take this one. I'll take yours. Long Chen suddenly walked over with his giant light sphere and handed it to Guo Ran. This action left everyone dumbfounded. Was Long Chen really switching with Guo Ran? Boss, you can't, exclaimed Guo Ran. Shut up. This is an order. Long Chen didn't give Guo Ran any chance to argue. He grabbed his light sphere and tossed the other one to him. In truth, Long Chen was also extremely moved by this sphere of karmic luck. Perhaps if he absorbed it, he wouldn't be so unlucky in the future. However, he had a premonition that his bad luck stemmed from the nine-star hegemon body art. Perhaps this karmic luck could support him for a while, but it wouldn't last for long. It was also possible that his bad luck would cancel out this karmic luck, meaning his luck wouldn't be good or bad in the future. That would be boring, and a waste of such a good opportunity. Boss, hurry up and absorb it. In truth, in the entire Dragonblood Legion, you're the one I'm worried about the most. You aren't strong, but you like to show off so much. Even if you aren't strong enough to show off, you force yourself to show off. If that continues, you'll be killed sooner or later. I'm giving you better karmic luck so I can stop worrying so much about you. Comforted Long Chen. Actually, Guo Ran was already very powerful, and no one could replace his position in the Dragonblood Legion. He was the core of the Legion in battle. Without Guo Ran. The entire Dragonblood Legion would lose its direction. An upgrade in Guo Ran was an upgrade to the entire Dragonblood Legion's safety. Guo Ran was already tearing up, unable to say anything. All the experts were also extremely moved. This generosity and fierce loyalty to his brothers in the Dragonblood Legion were something worthy of their worship. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulder. Guo Ran nodded and tugged with his hands. That giant light sphere slowly enveloped him and endless divine light flowed down into him Novaloon.com rainbow light began shining out of Guo Ran. A kind of sacred aura appeared. Just by standing there, it felt like the entire world was supporting him. He was like a god. Well, if he could just hold back his wretched expression a bit, he would appear more like one. As Guo Ran was immersed in that divine light, Long Chen brought the light sphere he had taken from him to Xia Chen. Boss, I... Xia Chen hastily shook his head. He knew what Long Chen was planning. He was extremely moved, but he couldn't accept. Long Chen's lovers were still in seclusion, and such a treasure should be left to them, not him. Long Chen didn't give Xia Chen a chance to refuse. He directly smashed the light sphere onto Xia Chen's body. It exploded and divine light erupted. Your physical body is too weak, so having more karmic luck means better survivability. That's the only way you can properly raise the entire Dragonblood Legion's power. So don't get all misty-eyed, said Long Chen impatiently. Xia Chen was a formation cultivator who didn't face enemies head-on. In a one against one, any member of the Dragonblood Legion could easily fight across realms. Killing any life star expert was no problem. However, Xia Chen was different, by himself and without pre-arranged formations. He had practically no combat power, let alone fighting across realms. If others managed to get close to him, even if it was just someone at Foundation Forging, they would pose a fatal threat to him. That was a fatal weakness of formation cultivators. Xia Chen was upgrading the Dragonblood Legion's collective power, but if they didn't upgrade Xia Chen as well, he might be the first sacrifice in their next battle, especially if they encountered assassins from the Bloodkill Hall. Every little bit of karmic luck was an increased chance of him surviving. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others were already skilled enough in protecting themselves. In comparison, 
Xia Chen needed it far more. Boss, I know. Consider this life of mine yours. Xia Chen could not describe how grateful he was. He began to absorb the divine light. But then, his expression suddenly changed. I can't absorb it. Chapter 1754 Divine Ring Suppresses Heavenly Deos Translator Born to be Xia Chen had activated his heavenly Tao manifestation but was still unable to absorb this rainbow divine light. Furthermore, the rainbow light was starting to show signs of dissipating. Xia Chen panicked. What's going on? All the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples let out startled cries. Why was it that Guo Ran could absorb Long Chen's blessing? But Xia Chen couldn't absorb Guo Ran's blessing. Long Chen, this blessing comes from the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet. Only the top 10 can absorb it. People who aren't in the top 10 haven't won the approval of the Heavenly Deos and so they can't absorb it. Li Xiangxuan's voice rang out. Li Xiangxuan had suddenly recalled that there seemed to be such a legend. However, this legend had never been confirmed because in all of history, there had never appeared a case of someone giving their karmic luck to someone else. This legend had mostly been forgotten by everyone. He had only thought of it when he saw that Xia Chen was unable to absorb the rainbow light. Boss, quickly absorb it. Otherwise, it's going to disappear, shouted Xia Chen. The rainbow light was still revolving around him, but it had not recognized him and was beginning to leave. Since it's mine, I can give it to whoever I want. Who said the heavenly deos could deny me? Long Chen smiled coldly. The heavenly deos were once more interfering. Long Chen's divine ring suddenly appeared. Divine pressure crashed down. The world froze. A five-point star was present within the divine ring, forcibly locking in the rainbow light that was about to dissipate and beginning to gather it up. Rumble. Suddenly, heavenly pressure erupted and the will of the heavenly deos descended. The heavens were enraged. That karmic luck was a portion of the heavenly deos will, and Long Chen was forcibly suppressing it. That instantly angered the heavenly deos. Long Chen, you can't go against the heavenly deos. You shouted the patriarch. However, his warning was cut off by Li Xiangxuan. Long Chen has his own methods. Let him do as he pleases. The explosive rumbling continued to ear up through the void. Heavenly might crashed down, and the color of the world changed. Everyone's expressions changed. In the face of this heavenly might, terror involuntarily burst out of the depths of their souls. Boss, this is heavenly fury. Xia Chen looked in shock at this phenomenon. It's fine. The heavens like to pout. Ignore it. Just absorb it, said Long Chen. Wasn't it just heavenly fury? It wasn't as if that hadn't happened before. As long as it didn't let loose heavenly tribulation, Long Chen didn't care if the heavens were angered. In any case, when his tribulation came, the heavens wouldn't go easy on him. His divine ring revolved, unleashing immense power that resisted the heavenly might. The five-point star within it emitted blinding light that suppressed the karmic luck. In the end, it was freed from the restrictions of the heavenly deos and began to be absorbed by Xia Chen. As expected of a heaven defier, even in the face of the heavenly deos, he has to make sure to tear off a bite. Li Xiangxuan could only watch silently as he witnessed Long Chen going against the heavenly deos. All the experts present became drenched in sweat as they saw Long Chen facing heavenly might. His divine ring was clashing against that heavenly might, and the resulting forces caused their souls to feel like they might be crushed. In the face of those two wills, they felt incredibly small. Even the heavenly deos are unable to suppress senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother is defying the heavens. The disciples looked at Long Chen with zealotry. The rainbow light around Xia Chen slowly vanished as the blessing of the heavenly deos had been absorbed by him. The heavenly might also faded slowly once he finished absorbing it. Things returned to calm. Long Chen put away his divine ring. More and more, he felt that his decision had been correct. That so-called blessing of the heavenly deos would not be able to bless him. His nine-star hegemon body art went directly against the heavenly Tao. So how could the heavenly deos possibly bless him? If they didn't curse him, that would already be pretty good. He felt that his decision to leave this heavenly Tao blessing to Guo Ran and Xia Chen had been the wisest decision. Otherwise, it would have been wasted. Boss, the heavenly deos will remember this disrespect. I don't feel very safe. 
said Xia Chen worriedly. Xia Chen was a normal cultivator. In his eyes, Long Chen's methods were completely against the natural order of the world. It's fine. You'll get used to it. Going against the heavenly deos is the common state of the dragon blood legion. As for not feeling safe, there's no need to feel that way. I often go against the heavenly deos, so I'm familiar with it. The heavenly deos are not human, but a set of rules. They have no emotion, and they don't remember enmities, comforted Long Chen. Long Chen had previously felt hatred for the heavenly deos, but now, he no longer hated them. In his eyes, the heavenly deos were just tools for carrying out the laws of the world. They weren't human, so why hate them? Each time he underwent tribulation, he was locked onto by the will of the heavenly deos. He had gradually managed to touch many of the secrets of the heavenly deos, which was why he dared to say that brazenly snatching this karmic luck would not draw heavenly retribution. The heavenly deos had no emotion. It was only when he took the initiative to break the rules of the heavenly deos that heavenly retribution would come for him. However, this bit of karmic luck hadn't been given to him by the heavenly deos, but by the devil slaughter divine tablet. The heavenly deos had no authority to take it back. To put it frankly, this blessing of karmic luck had been taken from the heavenly deos by the devil slaughter divine tablet and then distributed to Long Chen and the others. It already belonged to them. For Long Chen to help Xia Chen absorb it would only cause the heavenly deos to express their fury. They wouldn't unleash a lightning tribulation to kill him. The heavenly deos had their own rules that they were restricted by. As long as he didn't touch those rules, they wouldn't be able to cause trouble for him. It was only during his tribulations that he had no other methods. Each time he advanced, he would pose an even greater threat to the heavenly deos. The heavenly deos would naturally do everything they could to destroy him. Guo Ran, what are you doing? After comforting Xia Chen, Long Chen suddenly noticed that Guo Ran, who had already finished absorbing his karmic luck, was squatting down and digging up one of the bricks beneath him. Guo Ran didn't reply. He continued digging. After a moment, he managed to dig up a fist-sized copper fragment from the ground. There was still some faint divine aura coming from it. A fragment of a divine item? What's going on? It should be the result of that large battle before. Some divine items were shattered then. This fragment's runes have already vanished along with its divine power. So it seemed no one sensed it, said Li Xiangxuan after a moment of thought. Ha 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 ha. Guo Ran suddenly began to laugh crazily as he held that fragment. I'm rich. I'm rich. Everyone looked at him bizarrely. Wasn't it just a fragment of a quasi-divine item? Although it was valuable, it wasn't enough to make Guo Ran so crazy. Was there something special about the fragment? The legends are true. Ha ha ha. Laughed Guo Ran. What legends? asked Long Chen. The legends that say those with karmic luck can just randomly dig in the ground and pull out treasures. Ha 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 Aya Guo Ran was in the midst of crazily laughing when he was kicked in the butt by Long Chen and sent flying. When are you going to grow up a bit? raged Long Chen. Guo Ran had actually started digging just to test his new luck? Li Xiangxuan and the patriarch's expressions were a bit odd, but part of that was shock. Guo Ran's actions might have been a bit crazy but he had just proven how amazing this blessing was. He had randomly dug up a brick and actually found a fragment of a divine item that had been long since forgotten there. That kind of luck was truly heaven-defying. Hey, Guo Ran, you have to calm down. Not every brick will have a treasure under it. After being kicked away by Long Chen, Guo Ran didn't get angry. Instead, he knelt down and began to continue pulling up bricks. In the end, it was Xia Chen who had to drag him away, refusing to let him continue with such embarrassing actions. Long Chen was also speechless. This little fellow's head was definitely not the same as a normal person's. No matter how good his luck was, he couldn't play around like this. Fortunately, Xia Chen dragged him away. Otherwise, that little fellow would probably test his luck in all kinds of crazy and unreliable ways. His intelligence had already flown the cooperative. It probably wouldn't return for at least a few days. Long Chen walked into the Zhuanshan Tower. He knew that the Patriarch and Li Xiangxuan would want to speak with him. Long Chen, your first place ranking this time has won the Righteous Path a huge amount of karmic luck. 
the righteous path will be looked after by the heavenly deos even more now, praised the patriarch. Long Chen bitterly smiled. I bet a few people will be angrily smashing their furniture and fuming right now. Not all the righteous path will be so grateful to me. Long Chen couldn't help feeling a bit angry when he said this. For there to be a lot of people opposing his ranking, a large number of experts from the righteous path had to have also participated. He had won karmic luck for the righteous path. Even after doing everything they could to stop him, they still ended up benefiting. Long Chen was naturally dissatisfied. There are always fools everywhere. Ignore them. The patriarch waved his hand. However, there was never any power with as many idiots as the righteous path, said Long Chen. There's no way around it. The righteous path has too many sects. All of them care mostly about themselves, resulting in them fighting and scheming amongst themselves, sighed the patriarch. In truth, the largest power in this world was the righteous path. Otherwise, the Martial Heaven Alliance wouldn't possess such power or daring. Regretfully, the Righteous Path was not united. It was like a plate of sand. Although there was the Martial Heaven Alliance controlling it, the sects all fought amongst each other, constantly stabbing each other in the back. Moreover, some sects were not truly part of the Righteous Path. It was unknown exactly how many of them were actually being controlled by Pill Valley. Even someone like Kujin Ying was temporarily unable to do anything about that. Fortunately, the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet had somehow accepted even the support of the spirit world, allowing them to reverse the tides. Xuan Master, can I ask what relationship Sovereign Yun Shang had with the spirit world? Asked Long Chen. Chapter 1755 Five Sovereigns Three Emperors Translator Born to be Li Xiangxuan pondered Long Chen's question for a moment. In the end, he decided to tell Long Chen a secret relating to the spirit world and the Martial Heaven Continent. Under the leadership of a mighty sovereign, the Martial Heaven Continent had been very close allies with the spirit world. However, once the sovereign's time passed and the next dark era descended, the relationship between the two was severed. This fracture wasn't just because the spirit world hadn't supported the Martial Heaven Continent but because the Martial Heaven Continent had entered a very chaotic state after the Dark Era, the Sovereign had disappeared, and various large powers had risen. Without a Sovereign to suppress things, the Continent had entered a long and chaotic period. It was at that time that the Spirit World's attempts at communication repeatedly failed and they were killed as traitors. The Spirit World had no choice but to seal the channel connecting it to the Continent, cutting off their ties to the human race. However, there were still rumors that the Spirit World and the Martial Heaven Continents Alliance had been started by Sovereign Yun Shang. Furthermore, it was said that Sovereign Yun Shang had had a close relationship with the ruler of the Spirit World of that time. When Li Xiangxuan mentioned that, he smiled faintly. Rumor is that Sovereign Yun Shang was exceptionally handsome, a dragon amongst men. As for the ruler of the Spirit World back then, she was like a heavenly fairy whose beauty enraptured all living things. Many people guessed that their relationship was not ordinary. However, no one knows the details. Sovereign Yun Shang is gone, and there's no news about that ruler. Xuan Master, how could the sovereigns have vanished? Did they all die? Long Chen had always been suspicious about this. He had already seen two sovereigns. One was Sovereign Yun Shang while the other was the sovereign that had created the sovereign blood seal on Devil Spirit Mountain. However, he had only gotten a quick look at that sovereign creating the sovereign blood seal on Devil Spirit Mountain. He hadn't actually gotten a chance to talk to him. However, he could still sense that will that superseded the heavens. How could such a person just vanish? Had they run out of longevity? If their longevity ran out, then why didn't they have a tomb? They didn't even have any memorials. This is a question that no one in the world can answer. It has always been a riddle of this world. Some people say that the sovereigns have died. That they died against terrifying existences while defending the continent. Some also say the sovereigns haven't died. And they are in some place silently protecting this world. The others say that the sovereigns weren't human. And that they were transcended gods. When the martial heaven continent is in danger of being destroyed they will be reborn. When the world is too peaceful, they will enter a new cycle of reincarnation, waiting for their time to be reborn. To sum up, there are many theories. 
but there is only one thing that can be said for sure. Sovereigns are the most supreme existence. Existence is more worthy of reverence than even gods. However, the world has become chaotic, and people's eyes have gradually been clouded by the lure of power. People are growing more and more selfish, as well as darker. Their intelligence has been buried. That's why no matter where you go, you'll always run into all kinds of fools, said Li Xiangxuan. Suddenly, Li Xiangxuan asked, Do you know why is it that the corrupt path, the Xuan beasts, the ancient races, and the others all bully the humans of the righteous path? I don't. Long Chen shook his head. It's because the past five sovereigns were born amongst the humans of the righteous path. Have you ever heard of the saying? Five sovereigns three emperors Long Chen shook his head again. The five sovereigns you know, but the three emperors you might not. The three emperors are the corrupt emperor, pen emperor, and blood emperor. They came from the corrupt path, the Xuan beasts, and the ancient family alliance. They were also amazing experts. The only regretful thing is that just as they were rising, they were suppressed by the righteous path's humans. When a sovereign rose amongst them, the sovereign crushed the otherwise unrivaled emperors. In the end, they were defeated. The sovereigns were existences that we cannot imagine. Although the three emperors were defeated, they were the only existences in our world that were qualified to challenge the five sovereigns. Moreover, although they were defeated, unlike the sovereigns, they all have their own descendants. So, Long Chen, you have to be careful. With the Great Era coming, the descendants of the three emperors who have been in seclusion for countless years will very likely come out. As long as their bloodline hasn't run out, they will once more be amazing experts. Either they have been wiped out, meaning that they won't appear, or if they do appear, it will be followed by a tempest of blood. As for you, you are already mortal enemies with those three powers. You should be careful, warned Li Xiangxuan gravely. Existences that can challenge a sovereign Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp of air. He hadn't expected to learn of three families with such a terrifying history. However, he still didn't quite understand. The sovereigns had completely dominated their era. Why hadn't they pulled up these enemies by their roots? If they weren't wiped out, they would have participated in the fight for karmic luck in the Devil Abyss, would they not? Asked Long Chen. You're thinking about it too simply. The Martial Heaven continent is far more complicated than you imagine. The karmic luck that was distributed to you is a tiny fraction when compared to the Martial Heaven continent as a whole. There are some powers that are innately condensations of karmic luck. Well, talking about such things might be too early for you, so it's meaningless. All I want to say is that you should be careful. You are standing at the center of the storm. I don't even know how many eyes are staring at you. If you let your guard down in the slightest, they will pounce like a viper. Novaloon.com I understand. But don't worry, I am not planning on going to the ancient races after this. Actually, that sword spine armor dragon was something I was saving for Heavenly Fate Island. But those ancient races forced me to give it to them as a gift. I've seen idiots, but never before have I seen such idiocy, said Long Chen hatefully. Right now, what he wanted the most was to eliminate Heavenly Fate Island. Their scheming and calculating had almost destroyed the Dragon Blood Legion. He didn't have a way to get vengeance yet, but that was just temporary. Just as he was calculating the interest for this debt, the ancient races ruined his plans. However, he supposed that he hadn't lost out by that much. After all, he had gained 90 divine items in the form of Xiang Yunfei's spears as well as around 30 billion spirit crystals. Other than that, he had also managed to take back the sword spine armor dragon's corpse. He had managed to vent and make some money. Heavenly Fate Island's thinking is hard to understand. According to reason, they should not be acting so foolishly. I can't understand it, but perhaps they have some greater scheme. Li Xiangxuan shook his head. Li Xiangxuan knew that Long Chen was a heaven defier and that Heavenly Fate Island would not dare to directly calculate anything about him, that would lead to instant death. Since that was the case, they should know that even if Long Chen wasn't a heaven defier, he was someone intricately linked with immense karma. Why did they have to continue targeting him? Were they unafraid of the backlash from the Heavenly Deos? To calculate anything about Long Chen was impossible. 
and if they were to instead try calculating anything about the Dragonblood Legion, they would find it almost impossible. After all, the Dragonblood Legion was tightly connected to Long Chen. Their only method would be a roundabout calculation of the continent's karmic luck, changes in sects, as well as a few disciples' fates. That took an unimaginable amount of effort and resources. Furthermore, because it was not a direct calculation, it was all too easy for them to come to the wrong conclusion. Li Xiangxuan could not understand why they wanted Long Chen dead so badly. In his eyes, this was incurably foolish. No matter what they do, this enmity has already been set in stone. They almost destroyed us, so there's no way I'll let them off. I wasn't able to use the sword spine armor dragon, but that's all right. Even ten years isn't too late for revenge. Li Xiangxuan nodded inside. Heavenly Fate Island had perhaps played with fire this time. To have Long Chen set his gaze on them, they might be out of luck. Heavenly Fate Island's experts weren't very powerful. They relied on reading the lines of fate, making it so no one dared to provoke them. If any of their enemies were to target them, they would be able to find out immediately. Heavenly Fate Island had many allies, and telling them to target their enemy was easy, particularly since they could expose that enemy's weaknesses. However, Long Chen was different. Long Chen could not be read by Heavenly Fate Island. I don't think you should go into seclusion for the next few days. If my guess isn't wrong, the Alliance head will quickly come. She I'm already here. Before Li Xiangxuan could finish speaking, Hu Jin Ying's voice rang out. She appeared within the Zhuanshan Tower. Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch hastily stood up to bow, but Hu Jin Ying waved her hand dismissively. We're already so familiar with each other, so there's no need to waste the effort. Long Chen, you have some skill. You've won me some face. Hu Jin Ying smiled brightly. This time, not only had Long Chen and Guo Ran managed to keep their rankings, but the support of the spirit world had been a slap in their enemies' faces. During the past few days, Hu Jin Ying hadn't come to see Long Chen because she hadn't had the face to. In the face of Pill Valley, the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, the blood kill hall, and various other powers instigating trouble, as well as betrayers in her very own martial heaven alliance, she had lost hope when it came to the devil slaughter rankings. However, unexpectedly, there had been a final reversal. That final 110% had been recognized by a few members of the senior generation. Only once they told others did they understand that the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet actually included the spirit world in its calculations of a person's support. As a result, all those powers working against them had worked for nothing. This slap had been very resounding. Hu Jin Ying's smile had threatened to split her face. It's too bad that the old ghost hasn't woken up, or he'd definitely be happy to see you do so well. Hu Jin Ying smiled. However, that smile also contained worry. The old man had been in seclusion for several months now. He should have woken up, but there was still no news from him. HMPH, putting aside that old ghost, you should pack up. Come with me to the central Xuan region. I have an enormous benefit to give you. Hu Jin Ying smiled mysteriously. Li Xiangxuan and the patriarch's eyes brightened. While they didn't say anything, they had smiles of anticipation. Chapter 1756 Entering a Con Translator Born to be an enormous benefit? How enormous exclaimed Long Chen. What's with all the talking? What? Do you not want it? It's all right. I can give it to someone else. Hu Jin Ying scolded laughingly. The Alliance Head's benefits are truly immense. If you can obtain it, it would be enough to change your life. However, the Alliance Head can only give you a chance. Whether or not you can obtain it is up to your own power and luck, said the Patriarch. He and Li Xiangxuan clearly knew what benefit Hu Jin Ying was talking about, but they didn't say what it was. He, I was just joking. As long as the Alliance Head is offering it to me, whether it's good or bad, I would take it. Who asked us to have such a good relationship? Laughed Long Chen. Although he didn't know what it was, he knew it was definitely not ordinary. All right, then we should go quickly. Clearly, Hu Jin Ying was very busy and didn't have the time to talk so much. Ah, please give me some time. I'll arrange my affairs, said Long Chen. 
Why does it sound like you're busier than me? Hurry up, said Ku Jinying speechlessly. Long Chen vanished like a wisp of smoke. After he left, Li Xiangxuan said, Alliance head, for Long Chen to go to the central Xuan region now will probably cause huge waves. Are you prepared HMPH? Why do I have to prepare? With that scoundrel present, no preparations would be enough. I can't even be bothered to prepare anything. Let him do as he pleases. He has too many variables on him for me to plan anything. He's a disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance, as well as a favorite of that old ghost. As long as I still draw a breath, I won't let him suffer. Alliance head, you've misunderstood. To tell the truth, I'm not worried about Long Chen at all. What I'm worried about is the ruckus that will erupt in the central Xuan region when he goes there. At that time, you might be caught off guard. It can't be that bad. It's just accepting an inheritance. Furthermore, whether or not he'll obtain it is still unknown. What kind of ruckus can he cause? Ku Jinying started. Li Xiangxuan immediately understood that Ku Jinying hadn't been with Long Chen long enough to see through the clues that Long Chen was a heaven defier. However, Long Chen's identity as a heaven defier was taboo and could not be exposed. Li Xiangxuan could only tactfully say, Based on my experience of the past few years of knowing Long Chen, wherever he goes will not stay peaceful for long. Even if he doesn't go looking for trouble, trouble will go looking for him. You should prepare yourself. Your words are reasonable. This little fellow is a big troublemaker. I should make some preparations. Ku Jinying nodded. Li Xiangxuan then warned Ku Jinying about how Long Chen had conned the ancient races. By the end, Ku Jinying was shaking with laughter. Even now, she had yet to receive any news of the ancient races gathering. In other words, the ancient races were preparing to simply accept this defeat. Xiang Yunfei's clone had been killed by Long Chen because he had challenged Long Chen. Long Chen had defeated him openly with countless witnesses, so no one could find fault with him over this. As for the ancient races, they had actually prepared a trap, even used a nether passage expert to fight a soul transformation expert. The expert had worn a mask to prevent his identity. It was already an incredibly shameless thing. Long Chen had killed his way into his lair and summoned the sword spine armor dragon, using the principle of an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. That was also completely reasonable. If the ancient races dared to demand justice for this in front of her, Hu Jinying would directly slap them. It was only when Li Xiangxuan mentioned Heavenly Fate Island that Hu Jinying's expression sank slightly. How has Heavenly Fate Island become like this? Are the rumors really true? Has the old island master Dao Zingayan already died? Wondered Ku Jinying although nether passage experts had comprehended life and death, they had not fully transcended life and death, and their longevity still had a limit. It was just that their lifespan was far greater compared to other experts. Although Heavenly Fate Island's master had reached his position even earlier than seniors like Ku Jinying, based on his remaining longevity, he shouldn't have died. Heavenly Fate Island spends all day peering into the heavens. Their longevity is not set in stone. They will often touch on certain taboo topics, which will cause their longevity to decrease. No one can say anything for sure about this, said Li Xiangxuan. Heavenly Fate Island was a very special existence. No matter how strong someone was, if they touched the heavens taboos, they would be destroyed overnight. The experts of Heavenly Fate Island were madmen who towed that line to see the secrets that others couldn't see. It was all too easy for them to accidentally lose their lives. Heavenly Fate Island is a bit difficult to deal with. Let's set this matter aside for now, said Ku Jinying. She still had far too many things to do and had no time to find justice for Long Chen over this. Alliance head, I'm not saying you should go to them. I'm saying that they've already become mortal enemies with Long Chen. Long Chen won't simply swallow his anger over this, warned Li Xiangxuan. Yes, I understand. HMPH, the worst case is that I have to clean up after him again. Hopefully, that old ghost will wake up soon, or I'm going to be exhausted by this brat. Ku Jinying rubbed her head as she felt a headache coming on. She almost regretted coming here now. As the three of them were speaking, Long Chen finally returned. He had given the 90 bone spears to Guo Ran, telling him to distribute them amongst the brothers who favored long weapons. 
These bone spears were all on the level of quasi-divine items, while their hardness was even comparable to half-step divine items. They were absolute treasures. Long Chen had already erased any spiritual imprint Xiang Yunfei had left behind with his divine thunder force. They could be used freely by anyone now. To get used to them would definitely take some time. The item spirits inside had already been cowed by Evil Moon. So the Dragonblood warriors could place their own spiritual marks without worrying about them fighting back. Only after arranging that did Long Chen leave with Evil Moon to the central Xuan region. Hu Jin Ying's flying boat flew quickly. When they passed a barren land, Long Chen couldn't help feeling emotional. That had been the location of one of the seven danger zones, the heaven devouring forest. This particular part of it had been scorched black by his flames. Even after this long, it was still black. Back then, he had been chased down by Pill Valley and had relied on instigating a fight between the heaven devouring forest and Pill Valley to escape. Thinking about that made him sigh. The Eastern Xuan region's people should thank you. The Heaven Devouring Forest was originally blocking their path to the central Xuan region. Now that it's gone, they can travel the continent more freely. Many people with weaker cultivation bases are now able to take a look at the central Xuan region, said Ku Jin Ying with a smile. Regretfully, while there might be many people thankful to me, even more want me to die right now, Long Chen shrugged. The only thing that doesn't draw jealousy is mediocrity. There's no way around this, said Ku Jin Ying. But to be able to make over half the world jealous of me, I don't know what to say. Am I such a good target? Long Chen bitterly smiled. He still recalled how over half this world had opposed his ranking on the Devil Slaughter rankings. If it hadn't been for the spirit world, his first place ranking would have been cancelled. Although Long Chen spoke indifferently, he was still filled with fury. The ancient races and the Xuan beasts. If they opposed him, he could understand it. Even when it came to the ancient family alliance, he could accept it. What he couldn't accept was that even the righteous path's experts had been against him. He had fought for the righteous path, and he had led people to fight against the devil abysses monsters. Some of those people had sacrificed themselves to protect the continent, but what he got in return was their opposition. You can't blame them. You should blame Pill Valley and the other large powers who are making them do these things and resorting to slander, sighed Ku Jin Ying. No, I don't accept this viewpoint of yours. If their hearts didn't contain greed, envy, and viciousness, they wouldn't be so easily bewitched by others. Those people definitely aren't good. They can't even distinguish right from wrong. So Alliance Head, don't think that they're innocent just because they don't understand. Stupidity is not a shield they can hide behind. Ignorance is not an excuse for intentionally insulting others. I need to make this clear to you. We can't let such people hold us up. When we arrive in the central Xuan region, I won't let anyone intentionally make things hard on me. I will directly slap them silly. That's what I have to tell you, said Long Chen. Long Chen was not going to stifle his anger if he ran into a bunch of idiots. He didn't want Ku Jin Ying to be caught off guard if such a thing happened. So he was making his attitude clear to her first. He would not accept an excuse of them not knowing the truth. You're the same as that old ghost. A turd covered stone that's both smelly and hard. Cursed Ku Jin Ying. This character of Long Chen's was very similar to the old man. However, there was one aspect where Long Chen was a bit better. At least, he warned her first so she could prepare herself. As for the old man, back in his youth, he would explode without any warning. That was why Ku Jin Ying hadn't been able to bear it, and the two of them had stopped getting along. Don't worry, you are still a disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Even without your relationship with that old ghost, you are the same as my child. I won't let you suffer. As for those idiots, well, I can't be bothered with them. Do as you please. In my years of seclusion, Various powers have managed to infiltrate the Martial Heaven Alliance, making it rotten to the core. To completely recover is difficult. Just some medicine won't do. I have to cut all the way to the bone to fully cure it. You can be the blade I use for that, sighed Ku Jin Ying. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. He looked at Ku Jin Ying. Alliance head. Did you con me? You were planning on using me like this from the start. And I actually thought I had to apologize and warn you over this? 
your conning skills aren't bad either. Long Chen suddenly realized that Pu Jinying had her own goals in bringing him to the central Xuan region. You little brat, what are you thinking of? Pu Jinying blushed slightly. This little fellow had actually seen through her. Suddenly, a large mountain appeared ahead of them. There was a transportation formation at the peak along with numerous figures. Don't worry, I won't let you lose out. Let's go. We've reached the transportation formation. Chapter 1757 Skinning a Tortoise Translator Born to be the heaven-devouring forest was gone now, and the spatial force in this region was no longer so chaotic. That allowed people to establish new transportation formations that saved them a great deal of travel time. However, establishing new transportation formations was very expensive. It required time, manpower, and physical resources. It was a very large construction. Some transportation formations were created by the righteous path, and afterward, they relied on the people using the transportation formations to make a large amount of wealth. However, at this time, Hu Jinying decided not to waste the time to construct transportation formations. With the arrival of the Great Era, many transportation formations had started to break, requiring a huge amount of money to maintain. Furthermore, they had to be constantly on guard against the corrupt path's attacks. Most importantly, transportation formations were no longer making as much money. More and more experts were being born every day and many people chose to sit in flying boats, saving the money required for the transportation formations. Most of the time, those who chose to use transportation formations had lower cultivation bases, because it was safer, but experts would rather fly in their own flying boats. They didn't want their money to benefit the Martial Heaven Alliance. As for the Martial Heaven Alliance's own people, it cost them less to use the transportation formations and that fee was only barely enough to maintain the transportation formations. So in the other regions, transportation formations were no longer worth building, at least compared to before. But when it came to the central Xuan region, it was different. The people here had money, and to save time, they often used transportation formations. This transportation formation, which went from the eastern Xuan region to the central Xuan region, had hundreds of flying boats waiting their turn to use. However, when Pu Jinying's flying boat appeared, the people in charge of the formation hastily let her go through first. This was Pu Jinying's privilege as head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. After all, this transportation formation had been created by the Martial Heaven Alliance. HMPH, how arrogant, are the matters of your Martial Heaven Alliance more important than other people's? Pu Jinying's flying boat had just entered the transportation formation when a voice came from the flying boat that was originally next in line and had been replaced by her. Oh, I actually encountered some old friends. Hey, tortoise race, how are you? Long Chen immediately recognized the voice and looked to see the bald elder from the ancient races. It was the Nether Passage Patriarch of the Seven Star Dragon Tortoise race that had hunted him before. Long Chen smiled and waved like he was seeing a friend he hadn't seen in a long time. You, Long Chen, that elder hadn't been paying particular attention to that flying boat. He had just seen the mark of the Martial Heaven Alliance. He hadn't noticed the color of the Alliance character written at the front of it, which marked it as Pu Jinying's flying boat. Long Chen came walking out of it, greeting him warmly, and the elder almost coughed up blood again. If he had hair it would definitely be standing on end. Die. That nether passage expert immediately flew into a rage. Long Chen had destroyed the eastern Xuan region's ancient races, and only a few of their elites had survived Novaloon.com. The worst thing was that Long Chen had not only destroyed the ancient races and plundered their treasuries, but he had even taken away the corpse of the sword spine armor dragon. They hadn't gotten anything. This was an absolute humiliation. This expert had almost entered a crazed, bedeviled state from his rage. Now he immediately attacked Long Chen. He was completely infuriated. He immediately used his life and death energy to lock Long Chen down tightly. At this distance, he definitely wouldn't give Long Chen a chance to run. Old brother tortoise, why are you so angry? Your eyes are red, and your mouth is wildly frothing. Long Chen smiled at the nether passage expert completely ignoring his attack. Die. 
the sudden attack of an ether passage expert made everyone else jump in fright. His punch contained immense power. Suddenly, a ray of sword light shot out from behind Long Chen. It was resplendent and mighty, cutting through the restrictions of time and space. The seven star dragon tortoise race's patriarch had his arm sent flying away from his body. Blood splashed ah. Tortoise blood is such a good supplement. What a waste. Long Chen caught the arm and shook his head regretfully. Although he said it was regretful, he didn't go collect the blood. Although that nether passage expert was powerful, his bloodline was not very pure. Compared to the blood of the Xuan beasts, it wasn't valuable. Even if he gathered it, he would probably only be able to use it for blood tofu or something. The sword light vanished. Hu Jin Ying appeared behind Long Chen, staring coldly at the patriarch of the seven star dragon tortoise race. I still haven't even gone to settle the bill with you for bullying my disciple, and you already dared to attack me today. Your guts are quite big. The appearance of Hu Jin Ying made the patriarch turn paper white. Hu Jin Ying's name contained immense power on the continent. Although they were both nether passage experts, he wasn't qualified to challenge Hu Jin Ying. I, I, I didn't bully your disciple. Long Chen was clearly the one who cruelly and viciously slaughtered my ancient races. Have you seen how he destroyed the eastern Xuan region's ancient races? Raged the patriarch. How laughable. You were the one who took the initiative to attack my disciple. So why can't he attack back? You are an ether passage expert. Yet you were so shameless as to attack a soul transformation disciple. And then you cry victim when you are actually beaten by him. Do you even care about your face? Sneered Hu Jin Ying. I never tried to kill him. I just wanted to ask him a few things. Quibbled the patriarch. So you're saying it was all a misunderstanding suddenly. Long Chen leaked into the conversation. Exactly. It was just a misunderstanding ha ha ha. So it was just a misunderstanding. Why didn't you say so sooner? I thought that you wanted to kill me. Long Chen suddenly laughed and walked over to the patriarch. He patted him on the shoulder and said reproachfully, It's not that I'm trying to scold you, but why didn't you say so on that day? If you had, the misunderstanding wouldn't have caused such a ruckus. Haha, <laughs> now that you bring it up, I feel a bit embarrassed over it. However, now that we're clear on things, I won't continue bothering with you over this. Let us put away our weapons and replace them with gifts of jade and silk. Come. Let's hug it out to express our sincerity. Long Chen calmly embraced the patriarch of the seven star dragon tortoise race. The experts present were all stunned. Even the patriarch was dumbfounded. He had no idea what Long Chen was doing. He had an urge to kill Long Chen right now, but he knew that Pu Jin Ying would cut him to pieces if he dared to try. Just as he was wondering what to do, Long Chen had finished his hug and once more patted him on the shoulder. All right. We still have some urgent affairs to handle, so we'll leave first. Long Chen returned to his flying boat, followed by Ku Jin Ying. They vanished as the transportation formation activated. The patriarch stood there blankly. Even now, he hadn't managed to twist his head around what had just happened. Was Long Chen really trying to settle things with the ancient races? But how was that possible? Patriarch, you, suddenly... One of the disciples of the Seven Star Dragon Tortoise Race pointed at the Patriarch's back with a terrified expression. What is it? The Patriarch was startled and hastily spread his divine sense. He saw that at some point, blood had started to drip down his back. He suddenly let out a furious shout, and the robes on his back were blown back, revealing his skinny figure. People were shocked to find that the Patriarch's back had been skinned. It was now a mess of blood. Patriarch. Your ancestral mark. The disciples of the seven star dragon tortoise race covered their mouths, looking in disbelief. The ancestral mark of the seven star dragon tortoises was the divine mark engraved on their shells. This divine mark was their strongest rune. They specialized in using their shields as weapons, which made their defense so powerful. That was all thanks to that rune. This rune not only had defensive power, but it also had the ability to absorb a portion of a person's attack so that it could be used against them. Although their offensive power was lacking, their immense defensive power was enough to cause despair in their enemies. Back when the Patriarch had fought the Sword Spine Armor Dragon, in truth he hadn't used that much power. 
The only reason he had coughed up blood and been injured was because of how Long Chen had angered him so badly. In the battle, he had blocked and absorbed the sword spine armor dragon's attacks. That was why their defensive power was described as monstrous. However, this power stemmed from their ancestral marks. And now, that ancestral mark had vanished on him. In other words, he would be a shell-less tortoise in the future. Long Chen, the patriarch let out a furious roar and charged toward the transportation formation. But Ku Jinying's flying boat had already vanished. Evil Moon, is this thing actually useful? I've read plenty of books. So don't try to fool me. Long Chen looked at the rune on a strip of skin in his spiritual space. That was what he had skinned off of the seven star dragon tortoise race's patriarch. Taking this thing wasn't something Long Chen had been planning. It was Evil Moon who had told him to do it. He also didn't know what method Evil Moon had used to be able to steal the ancestral mark in front of two nether passage experts without them knowing. Of course it's useful. However, it's not useful to me. But to the heaven flipping brick, said Evil Moon. You want me to give it to Little Heaven? Asked Long Chen. Yes, based on his aura, that Baldi should be descended from the blood addicted devil dragon. Due to the mix of dragon and tortoise blood, as well as the mix of human blood later, his bloodline is very impure, and there are several divine skills that he can no longer use. I guess that he didn't even know that this rune had another use. What kind of use? The blood-addicted devil dragon has one area where it is strong, and that is its recovery ability. My dark evil dragon race's recovery abilities stem from our own stores of energy, but the blood addiction devil dragon relies on the divine runes on its scales to absorb external energy to recover. Although this ancestral mark has already regressed from its peak state, it still has a trace of that power. I'm preparing to refine it into a passive rune for little heaven, if it works. Little Heaven will gain some of its power, its defense will rise, and it will be able to absorb some of an enemy's attack. Furthermore, if it truly manages to activate this divine ability, Little Heaven's recovery ability will soar. Compared to the formation Shia Chen put on, this rune will be much stronger if it works. Although hugging an old tortoise is distasteful, it's worth it for Little Heaven, laughed Evil Moon. Obediently sitting through multiple transportation formations, Long Chen arrived within an ancient city. Chapter 1758 Central Plains Ancient City Translator Born to be this is the Central Xuan region. Long Chen looked around at the ancient city surrounding him. Some of the bricks were already covered in cracks and looked like they might shatter at any moment. It was very worn down. This is truly the Central Xuan region. This city is the Martial Heaven Alliance's headquarters. It's just a small part of the Central Xuan region, said Ku Jinying. Don't get tricked by its worn down air. This is actually the air of time. It contains vestiges of all the time this city has existed. Just being here will make it easier for someone to comprehend the laws of time. The headquarters of the Martial Heaven Alliance was an extremely ancient city. Although it looked worn down. It had managed to survive the passing of countless years. It was illegal to repair the broken down areas, and it was also illegal to damage its current appearance. This could be said to be the most ancient human city on the entire Martial Heaven continent. The history of this city stretches back to the Dark Era. I've always thought that this city possessed its own fate and life. It has recorded the passing of time and manages to exist within the endless flow of time. This is its destiny. However, only some people are able to sense it, explained Ku Jinying. Greetings, Alliance Head. As Ku Jinying and Long Chen walked off the transportation formation, the surrounding experts immediately bowed toward Ku Jinying. These were the young disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Their cultivation bases were all at the Soul Transformation Realm. Each of their gazes was sharp, and they possessed powerful auras. They were true experts. After bowing toward Ku Jinying, they looked oddly at Long Chen. They clearly recognized him. Hello. Long Chen gave a faint smile and greeting. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I've long since heard of your name. Your reputation precedes you. One of the disciples cupped his fists toward him. These disciples were all a bit excited. Although Long Chen had plenty of enemies in the rest of the world, he was still a disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance. His accomplishments were something they were proud of. They were especially proud of the miracle he had made. 
growing from a small secular empire in the eastern wasteland to his current level. This legend made him an idol for countless cultivators. Even in the central Xuan region, a place filled with heavenly geniuses and supreme monsters, Long Chen's name was still very resounding. Normally, they were only able to glimpse him in photographic jades. Now they got to see him in person. How are the disciples of my headquarters? Hu Jinying smiled. They're all elites amongst elites. Experts amongst experts. They are true warriors Long Chen nodded. He heard Hu Jinying's pride. Clearly, these disciples were all people that Hu Jinying viewed with favor. They were truly powerful. Just by looking into his eyes, Long Chen could see that they were warriors unafraid of death. Such warriors were very rare. You youngsters can chat. I have some business to handle. Take care of Long Chen. Hu Jinying actually tossed Long Chen here and left alone. We wouldn't dare to take senior apprentice brother Long Chen's praise. Disciple Shin Li greets senior apprentice brother Long Chen. A man with a sword on his back cupped his fists toward Long Chen. This person was the leader of this group. A sword cultivator. Long Chen sensed Shin Li's sharp aura. I cultivated for three years in the heavenly sword gate. Regretfully, I was unable to pass the sword stells trial. So I was expelled. I am at most half a sword cultivator, said Shin Li regretfully. Long Chen couldn't help but stare. Shin Li's heavenly Tao energy was extremely powerful, and his aura was sharp. He was clearly an Empyrean, but even such a figure was expelled from the Heavenly Sword Gate? Was it really so terrifying that it didn't even accept Empyreans? Seeing his expression, Shin Li explained, Sword cultivators care only about their comprehension of the Sword Tao. Everything else is unrelated. Back in the Heavenly Sword Gate, I had the fortune of seeing Senior Ling Yunzi. Originally, I wasn't even qualified to cultivate in the Heavenly Sword Gate. It was only thanks to his pointers that I was allowed to cultivate there for three years. Senior Ling Yunzi said that I was unfortunate because my Heavenly Tao energy was too strong, affecting my comprehension of the Sword Tao. However, he specially taught me a technique that could combine the power of the Heavenly Deos with the Sword Tao, benefiting me greatly. Although we never officially took the name of Master and Apprentice, there truly is such a relationship between us. So this Xin Li was actually Ling Yunzi's disciple. Long Chen immediately became friendlier. Ling Yunzi was one of the few people in this world that he admired. Or perhaps he should say that Ling Yunzi was also a miracle. He had essentially reached his peak cultivation base and stopped advancing. But by gaining a sudden comprehension of the Sword Tao, he broke through all his shackles, becoming a famous figure who created a cultivation miracle. Since you're the sect leader's disciple, then we truly are apprentice brothers, laughed Long Chen. He hadn't expected to encounter one of Ling Yunzi's disciples from the Heavenly Sword Gate here. He patted Xin Li on the shoulder, warmly asking, How is the sect leader now? Xin Li felt extremely moved inside at how close Long Chen was acting toward him. He immediately answered, He's doing well. However, I've been gone for a while. Back then, he was attempting to break through the Life Star Realm. Long Chen nodded. Ling Yunzi had already experienced the vicissitudes of life. He had long since lost the temper of youth. Now he cultivated for stability without leaving the slightest flaw. Furthermore, a sword cultivator did not pursue cultivation base, but a higher realm of comprehension. So it was normal for Ling Yunzi's cultivation base to not be advancing very quickly. Is senior apprentice brother Yu Zifeng doing well? I've always been one of his worshippers, said Xin Li excitedly. Ling Yunzi had brought Yu Zifeng to the Heavenly Sword Gate. At that time, Yu Zifeng was physically dead. His soul had been trapped in his sword. It was Heavenly Sword Gate that had used a secret technique to draw back Yu Zifeng's soul from his sword. As for Yu Zifeng, his soul had been immersed in the sword for so long, and he had truly comprehended the meaning of being one with the sword. Yu Zifeng was claimed to be the disciple with the most potential in the history of the Heavenly Sword Gate. In fact, even the current Gate Master had earnestly wished for him to stay in the Heavenly Sword Gate to cultivate. However, Yu Zifeng had refused. He had to return to Long Chen's side. He said that in this life, he had two things he believed in. One was the sword in his hand, while the other was his boss. Xin Li wanted to join the Heavenly Sword Gate but was rejected. 
while Yu Zifeng was someone the Heavenly Sword Gate had urged to stay but had left decisively. The difference between the two of them was immense. For Long Chen, Yu Zifeng had sacrificed his best cultivation opportunity to be able to make a prideful and detached sword cultivator become someone that would follow him to death. Xin Li had long since felt great admiration for Long Chen. He's doing very well. His realm is growing higher and higher, and he's the one with the sharpest attack in my Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen was also proud of Yu Zifeng. He was truly powerful. He was a true genius of the sword Dao. He had a fervent belief in the sword. It was practically fanatical. Ling Yanzi could count as half his master as Yu Zifeng's true master was actually the sword in his hand. His comprehension of the sword Dao could only be described as terrifying. Xin Li led the way as they walked, and four disciples followed behind them. They walked down an ancient alley to a plaza. Wherever Xin Li went, quite a few young disciples would greet him respectfully. Clearly, Xin Li was quite influential and respected here. However, when they saw Long Chen, those disciples' expressions froze as they stared in disbelief. When they arrived at the plaza, Long Chen was surprised to see four balls of light within it. Those balls of light each had a martial arena within them. There were disciples fighting within the martial arenas. The surprising thing was that the opponents of these disciples were not human, but a strange kind of life form. It was around the same size and form as humans, but it only had one eye and had a black horn on its forehead. It was covered in black scales. The points of its fingernails were as sharp as blades. Each time it attacked, it unleashed a whistling sound as space was cut through. Although he didn't know what life form this was, sensing its berserk devil chi, he knew they were the devil race. Furthermore, based on human cultivation terms, their auras were on the life star level. There were four disciples at the four martial arenas. Each of them wielded a sword. Their manifestations were activated around them, and rays of sword chi repeatedly clashed against the devil creatures. When those disciples' swords landed on the devil creatures, sparks flew from their scales. Their defensive power was immense. Suddenly, the sword of one of the disciples shattered upon contact with his opponent's sharp claws. That disciple was startled. He hastily retreated, but the devil creature was quick, and its other claw slammed into his chest. Its sharp claws instantly pierced through his body. The disciple became paralyzed with the claw through his chest. He couldn't move. The other claw pierced toward his head. A ray of sword light fell, cutting off the devil creature's arms and causing its black blood to spurt out. Its senior apprentice brother Shin Li. Other disciples had just started charging over to help when Shin Li appeared on the martial arena. After slicing off its arms with one attack, he kicked it away causing it to smash into the light barrier. It let out a mournful wail as it transformed into smoke and vanished. This light was actually a killing formation that was ineffective against humans but would instantly slaughter devil creatures. Shin Li helped that disciple up. Due to being pierced in the chest by that devil creature, his body was still paralyzed. Many thanks senior apprentice brother Shin Li, said that disciple. Shin Li brought him out of the martial arena. Immediately a few disciples rushed over to help, using a special kind of medicinal extract to heal his injuries. Those devil creatures' attacks were very terrifying. Anyone struck would be poisoned and feel their whole body go numb. That was a very dangerous scenario, and even heavenly Tao energy was unable to suppress this poison. There were lots of disciples here. Many of them were enthusiastically coming to help, while some had faint mocking smiles. How foolish. He just advanced to soul transformation, but he challenged an 11th rank horn devil. How was that any different than courting death? A mocking voice rang out from the crowd. The injured disciple's expression was extremely unsightly. Xin Li was about to speak when Long Chen spoke first. If a person doesn't even have the courage to brave danger, then there's no need for them to cultivate. Junior brother. You're not bad. Chapter 1759 Third Commander Translator Born to be only once Long Chen's words rang out did that disciple notice him. He jumped. Long. Chen. He almost couldn't believe his eyes. He hastily struggled to stand, looking at him excitedly. You're not bad. Even when facing death, you were able to stay calm. That's what a true expert needs to possess. Long Chen nodded. 
he truly did look favorably upon this young disciple. Although it was said that each warrior had to be able to face death, only a few could still maintain an absolute calm while facing it. Such people had to have powerful hearts. That disciple was extremely moved to obtain Long Chen's praise. His body even quivered with emotion. This was a major acknowledgement for him. Long Chen's name was now so famous that everyone in the Martial Heaven Alliance knew him. He had taken first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings, the greatest honor, even in the eyes of the Central Xuan region's disciples. He was a godlike existence. That's not for certain. A person has to be smart too. If they don't even know their own power, then sooner or later they'll die miserably. Just at this moment, a cold snort rang out. The crowd parted to reveal a man with a medium build and a dark face. He wasn't particularly tall, but the proportions of his body were off. His upper body was shorter than a normal person's, while his legs were exceptionally thick. He looked bizarre. He was wearing the same robes as Shin Li, and they were different from the other disciples' robes. He was clearly also a powerful Empyrean with a similar status to Shin Li. However, when this person appeared, all the disciples immediately became wary and looked coldly at him. The man slowly walked over, followed by a group of disciples with surging auras who glared at Long Chen. It seemed the interior of the Martial Heaven Alliance was not completely united. Long Chen's mouth curled into a cold smile. This person had clearly come to find trouble with him. This person was not at all surprised to see Long Chen. If Long Chen's guess was correct, he had come over specifically for him. To be self-aware but not feel inferior. To have confidence but not be conceited. That is the mark of an expert. However, you are correct when you say a person should be aware of their own power. I want to know, how can you tell that others aren't self-aware? Or is it that you simply feel that you yourself are lacking self-knowledge? Long Chen glanced at the dark-faced man. Just this person's tone showed his attitude. Long Chen naturally wouldn't give him face. Third commander, what do you think you're doing? Demanded Xin Li. In the Martial Heaven Alliance, the junior generation had four commanders. They were all powerful Empyreans with immense power, and they each led their own troops. The four commanders were ranked according to power. Xin Li was ranked fourth meaning he was the weakest amongst the four commanders. However, Xin Li possessed great daring and had won Ku Jianying's acknowledgement. He had also won the respect of his peers. It was just that in terms of power, he was the weakest of the four commanders and was often rejected by the other commanders. There was still quite a bit of disharmony amongst this group. The third commander had now come, causing the people on this side to tense up. They were enraged inside. The third commander had definitely done this on purpose. Xin Li, a defeated general should bring his defeated troops to the side. I'm not here for you, but for him. The third commander pointed to Long Chen. You. Xin Li took a step forward but was held back by Long Chen. I know you came for me. I don't like beating around the bush. So just tell me your goal directly first. Tell me why you came to the central Xuan region. Does it have anything to do with you? Was this fellow an idiot? As soon as he opened his mouth, he asked such a laughable question. Long Chen, it would be best if you were more obedient. Do you know who you're speaking to? Shouted one of the disciples beside the third commander. Long Chen glanced at that person who immediately stiffened. An intense sensation of death enveloped him. He felt like the death god's blade was already pressed against his neck. He suddenly let out a cry as he wet his pants. His legs quivered. Long Chen's gaze contained his terrifying killing intent. It was the killing intent accumulated through killing countless experts. This killing intent contained the terror of millions and millions of experts. Although that expert was a rank 9 celestial, his will wasn't strong enough. He couldn't possibly resist Long Chen's killing intent which contained such an intense air of death. With just a thought, his life was in Long Chen's hands. As for everyone else. They had no idea what had just happened because Long Chen's killing intent had been condensed on that one person. Only that one disciple felt his terrifying killing intent. The others didn't feel anything at all. All they saw was that Long Chen had glanced at that disciple. And that disciple had immediately wet his pants and looked like he had just brushed past death. Long Chen, what do you think you're doing? Shouted the third commander. He might not know what Long Chen was doing. 
but the results were clear. I'm teaching him not to always help a dog eat shit. If he really infuriated me, he'd lose his life, said Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen, this is the central Xuan region, not the eastern Xuan region. Don't be too arrogant. HMPH, don't think that using some despicable means to take first place on the devil slaughter rankings means that you're above everyone else. Because of you, all the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples have been insulted and turned into laughingstocks by everyone else, sneered the third commander. Bullshit. Long Chen used his own power to take first place. Otherwise, the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet wouldn't have given him his reward. Are you doubting the authority of the Divine Tablet? Raged Xin Li. How laughable. Long Chen used absolutely despicable means to trick the Divine Tablet. The spirit world has already betrayed the human race, but he somehow managed to bring their support factor into the Divine Tablet's decision. That's absolutely despicable. Anyone with a brain can tell that Long Chen had to have cheated to take first place. He has lost all the face of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The third commander looked at Long Chen disdainfully. Long Chen, if you still have the slightest sense of shame left, you should hurry up and scram out of the central Xuan region. Don't bring us down with your embarrassing act. Long Chen is the pride of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Do you have some mental illness to believe the words of outsiders that were spoken to intentionally harm your own people? Shouted Xin Li. In the Martial Heaven Alliance, there were still quite a few people who felt disdain over Long Chen's first place ranking. That was because the rest of the world all thought that Long Chen had cheated. Although he had obtained the acknowledgement of the Devil Slaughter Divine Tablet. It was because of the support from the spirit world, and the spirit world had long since been viewed as the enemies of the human race. So Long Chen's first place ranking was very contentious. Pill Valley, the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, the ancient family alliance, all these powers were announcing that Long Chen was despicable and shameless, an irredeemably evil existence. Whether it was because of the original devil race expert that had appeared at the end or the support of the spirit world, they both drew the anger of the public because those two existences were the enemies of the martial heaven continent. On the other hand, Xin Li fully supported Long Chen because he truly admired Long Chen and viewed him as a hero. Moreover, he had received Ling Yunzi's favor and trusted his judgment. Ling Yunzi would not have misjudged Long Chen. There was also another reason that made Xin Li fully support Long Chen, and that was because of Yu Zifeng. Xin Li worshipped Yu Zifeng, and in his eyes, Yu Zifeng was the reincarnation of the Sword God. If such a figure was willing to call Long Chen boss, Long Chen's accomplishments couldn't be the result of cheating or fraud. Scram. The disciples behind the third commander began to shout at Long Chen, their voices growing louder and louder. All of you should shut up or you won't see tomorrow's sun. Long Chen shook his head indifferently. His voice wasn't loud at all, especially compared to their shouting. Yet, it contained an unquestionable resolve. The shouting of these disciples came to a sudden stop as if their voices had been severed. For some reason, they all had a premonition that if they shouted again, their lives would end. That premonition was clearer than anything they had ever felt before. Everyone became mute in an instant. Staring in terror at Long Chen, they had never seen such a terrifying figure that could make them feel their own deaths just like this. Having advanced to the ninth heaven stage of soul transformation, the will of the nine star hegemon body art had grown a bit out of Long Chen's control. That domineering will was no longer fully suppressed by him. This was a will that inspired terror and despair, a will that made it so others didn't dare to resist. Just thinking about resisting would lead to certain death. That was what the will said. They could clearly sense their own deaths. Everyone was struck dumb with just a sentence from Long Chen. Suddenly, one of the martial stages lit up, and the third commander walked in. He shouted at Long Chen. Long Chen, if you have any gods, you'll fight me. If you cannot defeat me within ten moves, you should scram back to your eastern Xuan region. Third commander, how can you be so despicable? Shouted Xin Li. The third commander was so despicable that he demanded Long Chen to defeat him in ten moves. You're an Empyrean whose manifestation has begun to awaken. Do you even have the slightest face left? If you do, then you'd have a fair battle with senior apprentice brother Long Chen. HMPH. 
I ranked 297th on the Devil Slaughter rankings, while he took first place. If he can't even defeat me in 10 moves, it will prove he cheated. So, Long Chen, do you have the guts to fight? Shouted the third commander. You aren't qualified to challenge me. I don't want to be your opponent. Long Chen shook his head. He then turned to Xin Li. Xin Li, you should go instead. My temper's not good, and I might not be able to control myself. If I fought, the four great commanders would become the three great commanders today. Chapter 1760 Spy of the Ancient Races? Translator. Born to be Long Chen's words rang out for everyone to hear, and it was because they heard them that they were shocked. Long Chen was completely looking down on the third commander, saying that it wasn't a matter of ten moves or not, but that if they did fight, there would no longer be a third commander in this world. The dark-faced third commander's face became even darker. This disregard was a huge insult. I've long since heard that your arrogance is limitless. Today, I've experienced it. Do you know that you can't take back what you said? It's a slap on your own face. He sneered. More and more experts were gathering here. The third commander's challenge to Long Chen had drawn the attention of many disciples. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you don't know, but I'm not a match for him. In our last seven fights, I lost them all. Xin Li sent Long Chen a depressing spiritual message. You lost because you didn't see his weak point. I'll teach you a way to definitely defeat him. Long Chen secretly transmitted some information to Xin Li. Are you sure this will work? Xin Li was startled by this information. Long Chen smiled. I guarantee it will work. If not, it means this little fellow's fate is to die by my hands. All right, then I'll try it. The worst case is that I lose again. Long Chen shook his head. In truth, you're much stronger than this fellow. It's just that you've lost so many times that you've lost the confidence that a sword cultivator should possess, reducing your power of observation. A sword cultivator's perception isn't based on their eyes, their spiritual strength, or sensing auras. It all depends on the sword in your hand. It's alright if you have no confidence in yourself because I am fully confident in you. All you need to do is act according to what I just told you. Alright, I'll try it. Shin Li charged onto the martial stage as well, facing the third commander. HMPH. Shin Li, you really are foolish. You're so willing to be used by someone else. Since you refuse to recognize kindness, don't blame me for being merciless, sneered the third commander. Shin Li took a deep breath, ignoring the third commander's insult. His manifestation slowly arose behind him. The third commander also summoned his manifestation. The two of them were both powerful Empyreans, and the aura of the heavenly Deos began to rage. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head as he looked at Xin Li. He finally understood why Ling Yunzi had erased Yu Zifeng's celestial power back then. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, is the fourth commander going to lose again? Xin Li's subordinate saw Long Chen shaking his head and couldn't help asking him worriedly. Lose. Long Chen smiled faintly and didn't reply. The sound of Xin Li's sword rang out, and a streak of light flashed on the martial stage. The immense speed surprised Long Chen. The fourth commander's sword speed is as terrifying as ever. Even across the entire central Xuan region, he has some fame. Quick sword Xin Li, said one disciple proudly. Boom. The third commander vanished as soon as Xin Li's sword appeared. It was unknown what movement Artie used, but as soon as his legs pressed down against the ground, he sprang forth like a jumping flea. That speed made him untraceable. The third commander was someone innately talented. When he was just born, he was blessed with exceptionally thick legs that contained limitless power. His jumping power was astonishing. Later on, he was taken notice of by experts, and they did their best to unlock the potential of his legs. With that, he gained an almost inconceivable speed. His ability to go from 0 to 100 in particular was amazing. He didn't seem to need to store up any energy at all before suddenly shooting forward. This strange ability of his allowed the third commander to defeat many powerful opponents. Others weren't even able to touch him. Shin Li's sword couldn't even touch the third commander despite how fast it was. Up in the sky, a figure was repeatedly flashing. It looked like there were seven or eight third commanders up in the sky and it was impossible to tell which was the real one. 
Shin Li, I'll make sure the lesson sticks this time. If I don't knock all your teeth out, it can count as my loss. The third commander's voice rang out from the sky. It sounded like multiple people were speaking. Sword dance of the heavens. Shin Li's sword suddenly pierced toward the sky. Countless rays of sword light spread like a lotus blooming. What? He's using such a crazy attack right from the start. Those familiar with Shin Li were startled. This was one of Shin Li's trump cards, but he had directly used it without the slightest warning. Sword Chi raged through the air, crisscrossing and not leaving any space open. The third commander's after images were torn apart, and his true body was revealed, covered in runes. With a single kick, those sword images were blown apart. The power of his leg was astonishing. I found you. After forcing the third commander to reveal himself, Shin Li's sword suddenly erupted with light. He slashed at a diagonal angle from the top right to bottom left. Falling star sword. A dark red streak of sword light left a destructive wound in space. No matter how powerful the attack, if it can't hit someone, it's garbage. The third commander was a bit surprised to be forced to reveal his true body by Shin Li's attack. Shin Li was fighting differently than before, catching him a bit off guard. However, he still didn't view him seriously. Runes appeared on his legs, and he vanished just as the sword light came. However, as he vanished, Shin Li's sword made a turn, slashing from left to right. The third commander's figure had just reappeared when Shin Li's attack coincidentally slashed right at him. That attack didn't seem at all intentional. The two of them were so fast that the third commander had only just appeared when he was struck by the attack. This result elicited startled cries from all the experts watching. The third commander's strange movements were what made him so fearsome. Even people stronger than him couldn't track him. This was also why despite being very powerful, Shin Li was still suppressed by the third commander. He simply couldn't hit him. As for defense, that was a sword cultivator's fatal weakness. If his attacks couldn't strike his opponent, there was no way he could win. It wasn't that Shin Li was weaker. It was just that the third commander's special abilities were his bane. Seeing Shin Li actually manage to strike the third commander shocked everyone. However, after that moment of shock, they saw that the third commander's body had slowly vanished. It was an afterimage. At this moment, a figure appeared behind Shin Li like a phantom, and a thick leg kicked toward his waist. However, the third commander had just appeared when Shin Li slashed his sword behind him without even looking. He just happened to strike the third commander's leg. Blood splashed. The third commander was sent flying. When he landed, everyone saw that the cut was all the way to the bone. The third commander had divine runes flowing on top of his bone. It looked the same as a magical beast's crystal bone. It had innate runes on it. Heavens. The third commander's leg bones have innate runes on them. Could it be? Startled cries rang out. Although they didn't say it in the end. Everyone knew that they were thinking about the same thing. A human cultivated the heavenly deos, and there was no way to leave runes on their bones. That was no magical art. Such a thing would signify a kind of divine ability. In other words, this third commander was not a human. He actually had the blood of the ancient races inside him. However, his bloodline was very impure, and his divine ability did not cover his entire body. Instead, it only affected his legs, giving them immense power. Everyone was dumbfounded, including Shin Li. He couldn't quite believe his eyes. He looked from his sword to the third commander. Shin Li had attacked based on the method Long Chen had told him. He had used three attacks in a combo but still didn't know how he had won. He had only done it because he had absolute confidence in Long Chen. He hadn't expected to actually succeed in injuring the third commander. In all these years, he had never seen the third commander injured. The third commander was too fast, and even if he couldn't beat his opponent, he could run. However, seeing the runes on the third commander's bones, Shin Li suddenly shouted, Third commander, you're actually a spy from the ancient races. No wonder you would target Long Chen like this. You're deliberately destroying the Martial Heaven Alliance's unity following Shin Li's furious roar. Everyone else's gaze also became sharp as they stared coldly at the third commander. The third commander was the one who was most dissatisfied with Long Chen in the Martial Heaven Alliance's interior. He had expressed his distaste for Long Chen the most. Now that his bones were revealed, 
Everyone understood. Long Chen's enmity with the ancient races was as deep as the sea. In the eastern Xuan region, he had essentially crippled the ancient races. The ancient races had never had a chance to strike back after that. They had been forced to swallow their fury. Now that the third commander's identity was exposed, everyone was infuriated. Even the disciples that had come with him were infuriated. Anywhere you went, the most detested people were traitors and spies. Men Fei, you better give me an explanation today, or don't even think about leaving, shouted one disciple furiously. They were all infuriated. The Martial Heaven Alliance would not tolerate spies from the ancient races. I'm not a spy. I don't know what's going on either. You have to believe me, shouted the third commander, shocked and angry. He was so confused that he even forgot to heal his injuries. Bullshit. Do you think anyone would believe that? shouted the disciples. I believe it. Just as everyone's fury was soaring and they were about to attack the third commander, Long Chen walked out, silencing everyone.